Good afternoon, everybody. It is I, Vesper Noir, the resident scholar of the Adventures Guild Tempest and a member of All Stars English, and we have to finish it today. If I do not finish Valhalla today on this stream, I am leaving it unfinished. I am moving on. So I have to finish it today. I have to finish it. I hate... I hate leaving games unfinished. I hate it. I love finishing stuff, right? Yeah. I'm gonna finish it today. 12 hour stream, let's go. <laughs> I hope not. I sincerely hope not, because I have to do an interview. I still haven't given Flay his 10 questions yet. That's what I'm giving up for this, like... I have to interview Flay tomorrow. I need to give him his... But why leave it dead if not? I just, I can't do, I can't do long stream series. I don't like them. Like, I don't like long stream series. I like, ideally one, two, I'll deal with. Three is just like, okay, now we're going too far. Is that like a Nen Oath? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Load. 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 This game is not even that long. Yeah, I just talk too much. It's like actually an issue where <laughs> I should just be reading it and moving it on. But I like, I go on old man tangents. So it's like, I really don't... <laughs> I don't treat the game with the respect that it deserves, and I go on these stupid old man tangents. Yeah. My day's going good. I do love this game a hell of a lot. The Hound. Good morning. Not good morning, good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. All right. We're in. Rent. 10k. Okay. We're good. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Sh shut up! Anything? I think I already read this. I think I already read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna go near whatever the fuck that is. Oh, Ghostbusters! <sighs> I'm bad at watch alongs. I messed up any everything that could possibly be mas mas messed up in a watch along. I've messed it up. The chat box is scuffed. I couldn't get a timer up and running because it was just like, it just wouldn't work. I'll do better next time though. I'll do better the next time. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yawn. Good evening. Gil is in the back. Dogs and sh What? Oh, what? Think about is still working on the sequel, Nirvana. Make sure to keep an eye out when, when it comes up someday in the future. Yeah, yeah. Although, man. I'm gonna die when that game comes up. I'm gonna I'm gonna one stream it, even if it takes like 30 hours. Glad you're enjoying the game so much. It's one of my favorites. I don't know how long I could watch right now. I'll be watching the VOD tomorrow for sure. No problem. Absolute potato. Thank you for being a member for six months. We're in. First order, pet me. Yo! That's Sekuhara, you freaking weirdo. Wait, maybe it's not sexual. Wait, let me think. That's just regular harassment. Unless you're into that kind of shit. You freaking weirdo. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. <laughs> you just ignore him. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay. Pet me won't pet you you'll pet me sooner or later they all do this guy nirvana's still delayed because the developer has had a burnout oh that's rough it's power harassment but he's dog he said will not gill ah Dot, dot, dot. Who the hell is Will? Nobody! Interesting, interesting. Coffee talk. Don't be rude with poor Will. You know what? Yeah. Oh. Me or Will? Ah! 
Do you go back to whatever you're doing? All right. Is violence against dogs allowed? No, 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 no. Only if you pet me. Go. Okay. You're okay. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. Oh! Character arc. Wasn't it obvious? A bleeding Jane. Yes, sir. Full send. Aw, oh, no alcohol. Come on. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. No spoilers. Make it big, you need to pay rent. Exactly. Can to explain? It's a long story and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. This is a way to avoid raising suspicion. It actually works if you think about it. If you're the guy that's like super annoying, people will go out of their way to ignore you and then they'll miss like, yeah. Yeah, it's actually a good way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's out of line, but he's right. He's out of line, but he's right. Crowds of people. Yeah. I'm harder to read. I see. We already gave him a bleeding Jane. So he likes spicy, huh? We'll give him the most expensive spicy drink. 170. 200. 230. Loom light. Full send. that right aged on the rocks fixed here you go aren't you fascinated by spicy news i am i am i didn't end up getting a new uh, carolina reaper plant i didn't get one yet yeah birds right birds don't taste the uh, capsicum yeah you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them. You had me fooled, but thinking back, it was over the top. Kinda, right? Kinda. This is a combine arson. <laughs> no, Kyo! Is it like permanent? Or is it just like until you recover? Birds don't taste... Yeah. What? Say it again? What did I have to say to him? Capsicum. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves it or hates it. Yeah. You like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy, also the way that love my... Yeah! I would agree. I think it's pretty poor. Tea time. Oh yeah. 
is cooking. I need a slightly bigger mug. I need a mug that has like, like 50 more milliliters in it. Like 50, give me a 50. And I like, it's the perfect size mug for my teapot. Just 50 more milliliters. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. I love curry. I might actually pursue that dream. I would be your first customer. I'm gonna curry in ages now. Yeah. Call me Jill. Wanted to apologize for what? You cheered me up. This dude did probably number two or number three, right? Most important person that cheered Jill up when, when she was going through like a really rough time, right? I think Alma number one, actually everybody did a really good job. Like Dorothy did a good job, Dana did a good job, Gil, everybody did a good job. But Virgilio did good job. I actually feel like I was too rude to, yeah, right? I should be the one apologizing to your client. I'm actually surprised that no one else had violently lashed out at me yet. You really are. <sighs> Gil, Jamie, you. Jamie, don't no mind. Avoiding some chaps came to this alley. Ah. Again. Benjamin Sharon, thank you very much for the super chat. I wish they had make your custom drink system that didn't make failed drinks to make one called a Ligma. Mmm. -mm. I call it a Ligma because it tastes like balls. Heard enough. Make me believe. Original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. Huh. I see you scrolling at the corner of my eye. I'm not going to look. I see you scrolling. Runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law. True. Insistent salesman than a shady figure. Troublesome part of the city right now near the shopping district. I don't know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself. Do you think I'm sort of criminal though? something bitter on it. One fifty, is it? No, no, no. Bland. Let's do it. Six, six. I can't count. Two. All blended. I can't read. Here. This works. You like coffee? No, I don't. Huh. <clears throat> I cat Boomer the other day. Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. 
Aha. Just the bandage girl last time. Something about really familiar about her. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Thanks for everything. No problem. You had a you you had a thing too, right? The BM. Shh! Don't tell anybody. In this house, we love BM. George Costanza is okay too, right? He had a he had a he had a story about um, his daughter, right? Yeah. A gut punch, yes, sir. Ten banger. Lanaride. Double. Full send on the karma train. Aged, mixed. There you go. I always get it right. Bit of the holiday blues. Mega Christmas. Why wouldn't I? Festivus. Why does everyone keep saying that? Ah, cheapskate. I'll refrain. Just a season. Talking about Toots McShaker? Toots McShaker, Turbo Mail. <laughs> Just call me Vesper Turbo Mail Noir. The Toots McShaker. Altair, Buster Master Regis, <laughs> Axel, Dr. Chris Max, Sirios. <laughs> and then the last one is like Magni Sensible Desmond. There's a wrestler that dressed up as Santa every year. Insanely popular. Stunt got out of control. The Redmond family. The mighty Mega Santa. Okay. Every company jumped on the bandwagon. Christmas Mega. Okay. Turbo Mail. Yep. The holiday is a joke. No, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? George, Georgie boy, Georgie boy. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Georgie boy. 
That sounds exactly like you. George. That's you. Anything else that can get you? Give me a fringe weaver. Fringe weaver. That's like... And then... Full send, right? I think this is a fringe. Aged and mixed. There you go. What's the word on the street? Nothing new, really. Is that... Really? I haven't got much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Long deleted? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Text her somehow, yeah. I don't know how to say your name. Damn it. Uh, Ericify? Ericify? <laughs> I'm looking at it in like lead speak. Thank you very much for the Aka Supa. Thank you very much. I don't know how you do it, Grunsmith. Since a while ago, you've been hitting my funny bone with inhumane accuracy. I don't know how you do it, but keep it looking good. I'll do my best. Eric? I look at it. I can only see lead speak. And I apologize if I'm not supposed to do that. But I'm a... Uh, I'm a... Shut up, Gibbous. Gibbous. <laughs> Gibbous. No. I'm not going to call him that. Anyway. <laughs> you call yourself a hacker. I, I see Ericify. Eric. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you for becoming an associate as well. <laughs> Got distracted. Hitting the woe. Welcome, welcome. Not much to say. Here's the odd silly rumor here and there. Huh. Like the vending machine's taser is malfunctioning and applying more strength. Hmm. My name confuses everyone. It's good. You got to keep them on their toes, right? It's good to keep people on their toes. No one makes a fool out of the Vesper. Everyone makes a fool out of the Vesper. That's my curse to bear. Everybody is clowning on me. It's crazy. And I can't do anything to stop it because I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. Vesper muted. Rider of the last rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in a jar. What? Mobu, thank you for being a member for six months. Thank you so much. He hates us. I don't hate you. Not even a little bit. Huh. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay, then. Bo. No way, she's out. Let me know if something comes in. He tolerates us. That one isn't real. There's no way you don't hate us a tiny bit. Well, let me think about that really seriously. I don't want to like automatically dismiss what you're saying. No. No, I don't think I do. 
No, not even a little bit. I don't understand why people want to be hated. Me too, Mr. V. I have no idea. It might be like, uh... Masochism? I was just thinking about this yesterday because I was going to sleep after, you know, we did a long stream yesterday. And I felt really, really satisfied, right? God, is this going to get parasocial? Let me think about it. I want, I want to make clear that like, I'm still, <sighs> I don't think there's a way to say it without it being like weirdly parasocial. Is it a problem though? Okay. I don't have any kids. I'm never going to have any kids, right? But I was thinking if there are any like parents in the crowd right now, do you ever feel like, even if you're working, like you work a job and you work really hard and you feel like really satisfied, like you're like, I work hard for my kids. It makes me feel good. Something like that, right? I was like, I wonder if this is what it feels like to be like a parent. And you like give it 100% and you do a good job and you're like, that's for my freaking kids. I don't know. Yeah, if that's parasocial, I apologize. But I felt really satisfied last night when I was going to sleep. Because I did the 12-hour stream and it's like, I, I was good. Anyway. Valhalla bar. What can I get you? I love your hair. You look like a mushroom. I love your hair. I'll be with you in a second. Don't worry. I'll just have a drink at the meantime. As long as you don't go overboard and keep a healthy amount of self-awareness, it seems fine to me. True, 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 true. You know me? I've been keeping in touch with Dennis since she left Neo San Francisco. Okay, okay. Talks about you. About her sister, about her friend in Panama, about her sister, about her sister and about this dog she picked up from the street, a doggo. Gillian Gill. I can't be right. Looking very pitiful. Finding where he came from. Hmm. A dog, huh? <laughs> Probably just a dog sneezing. What can I get you? The fringy boy on it. Full send. Age mix. Too easy. In a way, it's easier being like an endurance streamer. I would say the opposite would be someone like Dez, who has like really, really high quality targeted streams that are like themed and they've got like a narrative and then he, once he's done, he's done. That in a way is like way more stressful because you can never really tell whether like it was a success or not. But like an endurance streamer is just like a number. Like I did 12 hours and I feel good. His five hour Fortnite stream. Battle as well. Dez and Battle are like the... They would be able to make like a primetime TV show, right? And have it be successful. That's how skilled they are at like what they do. But in a way that's more difficult than being like a 12 hour endurance streamer because I'm just looking at... I can't... I can't fail at doing 12 hours as long as I do the 12 hours, right? Yeah. And then I go to sleep feeling like I 
I gave the Vesties something. I gave them like an 11 and a half hour stream. It's like nobody can take that away from me, right? Unless the VOD gets taken down. But even then, it's just kind of like, ah, I feel sorry for the people that have to watch the VOD, but like at least it was there, right? Office is a mess. I can't let you in. I'll just go buy some. Take your time. I love your mushroom hair. <clears throat> Seven, eight years since I last saw her. She had a brief stint with me in the Neo San Francisco Police Department. Uh oh. I bought Ghostbusters. I have the receipts on my private email account because I had to use my private Amazon. I bought Ghostbusters. I can't show it on live stream because I'll dox myself, but I bought it. Narc. She's more of a collaborator. A collab! Act by herself. A radio to stay in touch. Interesting. She once took down a band of punks with nothing but a loaf of bread. Listen, you take a good buttery French baguette and you put it in the freezer. I am a scholar of peace and I would never advocate violence, but Vesties, this is just a little tip. If you take a good buttery French baguette and you put it into the freezer until it's rock hard, you could brain someone with it. You could knock out someone's eyeballs with it. Mm hmm Pretty much. A frozen loaf of bread? Yeah. Sounds like boss. Yep. <laughs> she requested that the next loaf of sesame seeds. The specialist. <laughs> Who's fighting against the NSFW? League of Legends. Okay. Ah. Dwarven battle bread. It's true, Principal Flame. It's true. For a visit in the middle of some investigations, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. You're way better than Art. I feel bad. Art is okay. He's kind of growing on me. Art is is growing on me. I feel bad. Art is okay. George, Georgie boy is okay. I still slap his bald head, but it's with love now. Keep mentioning league will make me a league, <laughs> make me want a league stream. I have played zero games of League of Legends and it's going to stay that way. But I watched the anime and it was pretty good. The Netflix TV show for League it was pretty good. I forgot what it was called. It wasn't called League. My friend made me watch it. It's good. Arcane. Arcane. It's really good. Simple private investigator. Fair enough. The swap spiders? No. Don't worry. Sugar Rush. Ah. Uh... I don't remember what that is. Two. Two. One, two. Full send.
mixed. What? Ah, here we go. Listen, besties. Listen. Sometimes. Sometimes a little flanner guide. Sometimes a little flanner guide gets in there, you know? There you go. Let's just hit a bar and chill. Boss, you own a bar. Doctors don't diagnose themselves, Jill. It's true. Don't need to overdo it. Naruhodo. Naruhodo ne. I understand. I understand everything. She was too uptight. She was too dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. We understand. On our first date, she got her head stuck in a bucket. Dinner became a night in a hardware store getting the thing off. Sounds like a good time to me, IDK. You would do that? Have I ever got my head stuck in a bucket? Um... Cone? I don't think I have, but maybe? I don't think I have. Are you sitting on the floor? Uh, no, I'm behind a fence. I'm behind a fence right now. The inherent romanticism of a hardware store. Glad to see you're still playing through this. Ryro, I'm gonna beat the game. I'm gonna beat it today. If I don't finish the game today, then I'm basically gonna have to move on and not finish it, and I hate not finishing things. Anyways. Seen your person a long time and you have to leave before New Year's. I don't wanna make a mess. Okay. Don't try too hard. Oh shit. Just enter, bring it back. It does. Cool. I pressed enter instead of spacebar. That's my mistake. There's a prologue? I've never done the prologue. They just refer to it. Wait, how do you do the prologue? Did I skip it on accident? What? Just go outside and drink Hassi. I have Hassi at home. Hey, this stuff is like caviar here, thanks to import rates. Oh. It's a downloadable demo? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Pleasure to meet you, Jill. Cuteness knows no boundaries. Giga-based. 
That's a great answer. It's like a 10 out of 10 answer. Right. What got me thinking is that Gil thinks <laughs> she thinks that Gil is a dog. She does? Yeah, when you talk about him, she thinks you're talking about a dog. Hmm. This will be fun. Just don't overdo it. Feeling lonely? That voice. Who are you? Black school uniform and jeans? Are you wearing jeans? Are you wearing jeans, you idiot? I ignore her. What the f- Not unfathomable, you just can't ignore me. Stingray? is even going on the world could be weirder than you think this I agree this I agree Just look at ASMR. Exactly. No sane person would ever talk about it. <laughs> okay. You acknowledged me. She. I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? The drinks are also paid for with my money. I knew it! Oh shit! The cosplayers, right? There were two cosplayers that came in and then the one that didn't talk was like, there's somebody in a black school uniform wearing jeans behind you. Uh oh. To annoy people? They could see it if they wanted to. She's also been in the TV periodically. Really? I didn't notice. Man, I miss not being crazy. 
Jill, you are always crazy. I'll thank you when you leave. Uh-oh. The 30th? Uh-oh. I'm going to get evicted. Uh-oh. Am I not going to beat the game? Uh-oh. Jill just watched Night of the ID Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will prevent her. Um... Well, how much is it? How much is the poster? Two fifty is not that. We save. We save. Okay. Taylor, the brain required of tired of name change requests. <sighs> Brian? Just don't want to be part of a joke. A senator? What the? At an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. This is the influence that anime has on the general population. As you increase the, the percentage of the population that watches anime, you increase in equal measure both how base the population is and how cringe the population is. It stays perfectly in balance on both ends of the spectrum. The level of cringe goes up, but so does the level of base in equal measure. They stay perfectly balanced. He didn't have to pay some egghead at Harvard University to tell you that shit. You can give it to me and I'll tell it to you for a 20. I'll give it to you for a tenner. It's nothing but filth, trash. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market. Yama K. <laughs> I, I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Get out of here. Best I can do is five bucks. I'll take it. I'll take it the great RV. I'll take it. And her entourage were found at the site of the protest last Friday. Christine Love. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down in the streets. Interesting. Coach Zed, thank you very much for the super chat. I dish out the knowledge all day and all night. What's the game called? Christine Love. I don't know what the game is called, but okay. Go this one. Gotta do this one. Okay. We're good. We're gonna save. Deal. Thank you, the great RV. Much appreciated. It's 
snail snart. Thank you. I love I love snails. I actually do like them. I think they're heckin' cute. Okay. We save and we go on. Use your save slots. Yeah. Adrian Canales, thank you for the super chat. All I got is five bucks. Teach me your ways. Okay. Overthink things to an insane degree to the point where it's a detriment to your life and it increases like anxiety levels and general dissatisfaction, right? And that's you like 99% of the time and then 1% of the time get so frustrated with yourself that you just straight up YOLO. You will say yes to anything, right? And that's where all of my good stories come from. All of the good stories in my entire life that I'm telling you guys, they've come from that 1%. And then the 99% gives me all of my mental health issues and they give me gives me nothing back in return. It gives me back literally nothing in return. <laughs> Can I get a refund? <laughs> it's the effort moments that like give me the most amount of like joy in life. It's weird, right? It's very strange. So maybe we should just say effort more, right? And just as long as it's not heroin. As long as it's not like gonna literally and demonstrably ruin your life, why not just go for it, right? If it's gonna ruin your life, don't do it. But if it's if it's like if it's just gonna be like annoying, an inconvenience, just take the inconvenience. It's fine. Mr. V, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Someone's gonna clip this out of context. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There are things that I absolutely 100% will not do. Like, I, I will not... I will not trash talk a brand. And then I don't trash talk the video game that I'm playing. Even if I don't absolutely love it. I love Valhalla. Like, I have no complaints over this game so far. Do I have any complaints? Stuff like that. Yeah. If <laughs> it's not... Valkyrie's please do not... Anyways, I'm gonna keep playing. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Sure! Never mind. Chartreuse Baron. The only complaint is that we want more of it. It's good. Valhalla is a game that I bought five times. Oof. Worth. Worth. Will you ever wear mismatched socks? I've done that before. In a work setting? I've done that before. And I got called out for it. Vespernor is a Harvard experiment that I bought five times. <laughs> They're just like zapping me. They fished me out of a dumpster and then they made me into a streamer. My fair lady, my fair lady, except it's about Yago turning a bunch of dudes that he fished out of a dumpster into hollow stars. Mmm. I like that. Hollow stars, Ian. 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 And it's just me, not any of the other boys. Anyway, it's not like he has anything else to do. Are you even the real? Are you even real? I feel like I'm real. <laughs> A fellow dumpster diver. How can we be real if our eyes aren't real? Is this where like I get stabbed in the eyeballs? He's escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. 
back. See? Minx, thank you for being a member for six months. Thank you so much. Your nog is looking mighty splendid today, Grandfather. Thank you. Thank you. you do be that way occasionally. We're depressing people. Ask me to give you this. Uh oh. What? First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take all that stress on you. Let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask us these after I treated with you, but I really want to talk to you. Anchor, thank you for being a member for six months. I know this is real. This is the only way we can reach you about your car's extended warranty. Please wake up. <gasps> Snail Snart, welcome. Welcome to membership. Thank you very much. I'll understand. She was always a smart one. Different handwriting? Relatively free, so I told her about the party. Gilbert! Gilbert. John! What? Why? What drove me to never go back? Oh, what is it? Ah, fear and shame. Or as I like to call it, sheer. Shame plus fear is sheer. I have a story about this. I have a story about this. I had anxiety for five years as a child. I think from around like 12 years of age to 17 years of age. I had anxiety, really bad anxiety for five years. Nightmares, I couldn't sleep. And it's because I had an overdue book at the library that I lost the book. I, I couldn't find it and I didn't know how to return it. I couldn't return it because I lost the book and I knew that I lost it. And I was just like, oh, I must owe them like a million dollars by now. They're gonna just like, I'm gonna go up to the library and the sweet little old lady, the same lady that's been working there since I was like born probably. She's just gonna pull like a Glock and just cat me in the head for like losing a book, right? I was just like terrified. And I just had anxiety all the way up until I was 17, right? <laughs> all the way up until I was 17. I, I was just like, I was losing sleep. I was like anxious and stuff like that. And even if I didn't get killed on the spot, I was just worried that like the, the penalty fee was like thousands and thousands of dollars, right? <laughs> so anyways, finally, I just like couldn't take it anymore. Actually, no, no, no. It's not that I couldn't take it. I didn't have an epiphany. I actually like... I told my psychiatrist about that. And my psychiatrist is like, you know, they don't charge you more than the cost of the book, right? You know, like it caps out at the cost of the book, right? And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. And the psychiatrist was like, just go to the library and pay, pay it. There's another end of this story. There's another end to this story, okay? I went to the library to pay it off, right? And then they were like, okay, give me your card. And then like, we'll, we'll figure out what you owe. And yeah, it's the cost of the book, right? 
So I gave them my card, the library card that I hadn't used for like six years or whatever, five years, right? <laughs> and then the little old lady like swipes the card, right? And she was like, oh yeah, that got paid off. Somebody already paid it off. So I'm guessing they probably sent my parents like a letter in the mail or something. And they're like, hey, you owe this. And then my parents just like paid it off. And then I was like, could you tell me when they paid it off? And then she's like, okay, let me check. Oh yeah, they paid it off four years ago. Anyway, hopefully I entertained you guys with that story. <laughs> She'd break up with me. And then I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Mm. The fuck is wrong with you? Daniel? Danny, Dan I'm not gonna call you Dan. Daniel, Daniel, you need to clear your schedule if you want me to fully explain to you what's wrong with me. If you want me to, if you want like the full answer, you need to clear your schedule. We're going to have like a 80 hour Zatsudan where I tell you everything that's wrong with me. I asked that question and I regret it. Yeah. Anyway. Lenore was in the right to break up with me and Gabby is in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that. Jill, you idiot. Can we get a Nor Vesper lore week? Like how Shark Week is a thing? 24 hours out to Daniel. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. Tur Tunning Spork, I love your name. Thank you for being a member for five months. Okay, okay. We're back to the game. We have to, we have to beat the game today. I will not leave it unfinished. You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hit you. True! True. True. You're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? True! You said you would never do that again. Yeah, that you hated feeling like that. The Ramazing. Thank you very much for being a member for three whole months. Thank you, thank you. I am not the most unhinged Hollow Pro member. Come on. Come on, Sakaki. I can think of at least one more person that's more unhinged than me. I can think of at least one more person. At least one. The one that eats spiders. Yeah. The titty hacker! Alma, right. I don't know what's happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. <sighs> Not only that, you have us watching your back. True. Which do you pick? I won't run away this time. That's what friends are for. Hmm. We're in. Doesn't Haka want to eat spiders? Does he? Oh shit. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Second one. Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one's from Lenore. Envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? <laughs> Lord Jesus C, thank you for being a master member for six months. That's a great name. 
I wish I could stay, but my work is gonna pay me to drink and throw axes. I can't miss out on that. Axe throwing. I love that. Amazing. Might lose faith the other. True. Don't push her. I'm not. Okay. Simon Belmont. Can you dodge an axe? If you can dodge an axe, you can dodge a ball. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Keep it up. My favorite part of that movie is where the main character goes into like the the love interest, like her house. My favorite part of that movie is where I, it's like burned into my brain with like laser like intensity. He goes into the love interest house and it's just like filled with like unicorn shit, right? Or something like that. She's like, I like unicorns. <laughs> the most like understated response to that. Hey, Stella! Stabbing their children. You should have been seeing the faces of kids. I like you, Stella. It's totally worth it. Luck was on my side this year. Outburst. Why? You look so happy. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Yeah. Anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Lord Jesus, see, thank you for the super chat. They already paid me to Mario Kart for three hours. Don't tell them. Not a word. Bessies, no squealers. No squealers. Cobalt velvet. Cobalt velvet, right? He's a cobalt velvet, right? Okay. I'm being distracted by chat. Full send. We need we need the money. There you go. She wanted a drink here since I was coming too. Can't stay here for long. Some errands to run. How's she been lately? Good. <clears throat> what about her eye? Eye? Oh, hers. Sorry. It'll take longer to heal. Okay. Her emotional wounds. She's had depressive bouts from time to time. Old ways. I think it was about to close. Okay. Different. I'm like this too. She needs equivalences to things that she knows. You need it to get into her mindset. I'm kind of like this too. I learn by thinking about, oh, that reminds me of this. And then I can connect the two and then move forward. But if it's like completely foreign to my mind and I've never experienced anything like it, it's just like overwhelming. And I like can't even like, I can't even get started, right? Just like Minecraft. I can't get into Minecraft because it's just like, it's too much. Yeah. Interesting. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but the schools don't have that kind of patience. Yeah. Basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. Stella? Stella? We are of one mind. 
our brain cells and our like neuron patterns have perfectly aligned say less i know exactly i know that shh, 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 shh. i know exactly what you're gonna say next we burned the school down right cheers wait no 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 no. it's okay it's okay i'll handle it we burned the school down Tachibana Kira, thank you for being a member for six months. She's always been against being labeled special or different. True. She's totally different during that period. Hmm. No, no people in it. Maybe the teacher. <laughs> Foul mouth, short fuse. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. Interesting. It scares me. Useful shroom, thank you for being a member for five months. RIP Vaughn! You're comparing her to her teen self, though people mature. It's true. Go back to that. True. The VOD is not Abayo yet. How many of my VODs have gotten taken down? Just one, right? Two? One or two? I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet. Cold and sweet. Cold and sweet. We have to get the most expensive sweet. This one is super expensive, but it's not cold. On the rocks, this one. A moon boy. Oh shit, is it already big? No, no, no. It's perfect. 12. Two Delta. Two Flanner Glide. Or Carmatrine on the rocks blended. What? kind of stuff to say us for you know now that you mention it she told me that after all that chaos you did she's devastated she's afraid tired Akaishi Hideo, thank you very much for being a bachelor member for six months. Give me a drink, what do you want? Any drink. Surprise me! I could give you I could give you a Vesper, which is 20 units of Karma Trine on the on the rocks and then blended. Full send. Just 20 years of Karma Train on the rocks blended. That's the Vesper. This happened before. Razor EXE, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. 
Can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? What is a cat boomer? I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. You can feel there are people living. Busy food stand, like the warmth there that Uptown does not have. It's also easier to talk to people. Did you ever watch Bubblegum Crisis? No, I actually didn't. There's a good reason for that one. There's a good reason for that one, why I never watched it. It's not a good reason, it's a stupid reason. I had a... I had a nemesis in high school. I had a weeb nemesis. I had a weeb nemesis that was like... They hated my favorite anime. And their favorite anime was Bubblegum Crisis, so it's just like, I'm just never gonna watch it. Right? I loved Evangelion. I loved it. I bought every- You know how expensive VHS tapes were back then? It was- it was like 20, 25 dollars, like around 30 dollars, like after tax. It was like 30 dollars per VHS tape. You got two episodes per VHS tape. And Evangelion was like 26, it was like a gajillion dollars to me. And I got every VHS of like Evangelion, right? What's the V- Oh my fucking god. Anyways. So Evangelion was like my number one favorite anime in high school. And my nemesis... They were like, oh, Evangelion mid. Bubblegum Crisis is way better. And I was like, I'm never gonna watch Bubblegum Crisis. You could put a gun to my head, and I will not watch it. Yeah. 28, by the way. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with your nemesis. <laughs> it's a very petty. It's a very petty reason not to watch something. Yeah. Extremely petty. You're making my wife sad, Vesper. She loves Bulgum Crisis. I'm not saying it's bad. I can't say that it's bad because I've never watched it. And I'm sure it's incredibly good, right? It's just a really petty reason for me not to watch something. I knew there was a reason why I like you. I can't stand Evangelion some with the Nemesis. I respect it. I respect it. Okay, we're moving on. Someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Okay. Oh, Rhea. There's nothing to understand in Evangelion. It's just like... It's just like being a teenager. That's what it's about. Evangelion is an anime about being a teenager. Yeah. It's just Eva. I hate Evangelion because I love Evangelion. Get in the robot. Yeah. Furikuri? Furikuri is a little different. Footy Kuri is an anime about... I think Footy Kuri is an anime about like... <laughs> it's an anime about sexual frustration. Yeah, it's an anime about puberty. It's an anime about being like... Horny, but not knowing, like, what to do with it. Like, 
Like, you're too young to know what to do with it, but it's still there. And it's just like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. Anyway. There are people here that are a bit wary, but they're more likely to talk to you. Yeah. That's pretty on point. Yeah. Can I get you something? Feel like having a beer? Make that two? Two beers. Got it. But I just want one. I'm asking for one for me. I, I think, yeah. Oh, that. Right. Full we'll send. Double. Okay. Mix. We'll send. Mix. Here. The Furikuri manga and anime were different. Manga was great and so was the anime. The second season was weird though. Yeah. Yeah. Every anime can be about being sexually frustrated if you're sick. Hold on a second. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Huh. Actually true. I was gonna think like Hamtaro. Hamtaro is like a little bit. Hamtaro is. <laughs> it's just a bit. It's a joke. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Calm down. You guys are overreacting. You should have seen the kids after you left. They're all playing with the toys that you pick. <laughs> Big heaven shambles. All right, I'm gonna get more tea. Be right back. I'm back. We're say, we're say. Why do they call you just say when they call me Auntie Stella? It's because you're an Ojo sama and she's a child at heart. It's the drill hair. Hey, the great RV. Thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Thank you, Saku. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry I had to leave, but mom worked overtime that night. Couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Dog thought it would be safe to hide in a jar. Is your mom a vet? 
she had her mom had a clinic and it was gonna shut down is your mom a veterinarian slowly all of the everything is coming together the guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck couldn't just try to break it that's messy hold the dog while she worked poor fellow was scared well i'm out oh yeah we'll have a new year's party this saturday if you want to come sure it's better than depressing myself with my dad's so woes about the next first skull year She said she liked the bar because it smells like dog pee and stuff. You're right. She told me about that. I forgot. Oh my God. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. I'd love to. I'll also make up for my not coming last time. How's the party? It's good. It was great. Broke some glasses. Yeah. <laughs> you bring me gum gum all right i'll bring you gum gum yeah can i get you something let's try something classy okay something classy what's the most expensive classy drink 250 250 280 260 okay so it's the, the cobalt velvet all right on the rocks mix send it yep this is the thing Stella came in sh quite cheery this Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's born on the 25th. Understood, understood. Weird story from when she was a kid. Mega Santa, she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. Incredible. <clears throat> she got over it, but the gifting stuck. The Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. Interesting. She's kind of a chuny, right? She's a chuny bill. Yeah. Or... Do you remember the movie where Tim Allen, he accidentally kills Santa and then he becomes the next Santa clause? It was the, the Santa clause, like a legal clause in a document. Do you remember that? We gotta watch that. Vesti, not, not Vesties, but like the Vesti, right? Put that on the docket. Speaking of things that you did when you were young, she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something. Oh, that. Sweet that she's worried. Zans, thank you for the super chat. Just wanted to give a tip to an anime as old as I am. I remember being coconuts for hours trying to decide what VHS to buy. <laughs> They were so expensive, right? I'm not really sure what coconuts is, but I'm guessing it's kind of like a, like a blockbuster type deal. So hard to pick. Yeah. Evangelion. Full send. I'm fully self-aware that Evangelion is in a lot of ways, it didn't doesn't hold up, and it didn't hold up back then, but 
It got me through a rough patch in my life. Yeah. Hold her as much. Wanik, Wanik, thank you very much for being a member for six months. Tengen Tapa is so good. Tengen Tapa is like actually good. I think Tengen Tapa holds up. Tengen Tapa like holds up even today, and it was good back then. But I was already like an adult when it came out. Ray Earth! Magic Knight Ray Earth! I remember that. MKR. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Bubbly. I owe you my life. Principal Flame, thank you very much for the super chat. Eva's worth watching for how many times you'll see something like that and go, that's where that anime got it from. True. True. 200. 150. 280. 260. Let's give her a cobalt velvet. Full send. On the rocks. Mix. There you go. Bubbly, bubbly. Oh. Huh? She told you my story means that she likes you enough. It's fine. Motif, thank you for being a member for five months. Thank you very much. Just wanted to say I love how comfy your streams are. I love, thank you. I, I love that it's comfy to you, but Sometimes I say... Sometimes I say really unhinged things. <laughs> I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay, buddy. Genos, thank you for the super chat. Gintama! Gintama's good. It's actually good. Solwyn, thank you for being a bachelor for six whole months. Eva in my drink going, hey, they don't know how I like Galgai Gar. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. It's about the other one. Apparently he was running away after doing something. We were at the park and he held us hostage. Oh shit. Pal Pandon, thank you for the super chat. Using my art. For no, thank you for doing the art. Thank you, thank you. I missed your last stream part because of this, but have you encountered Art Van... I have. I've encountered Art Van Delay. Yeah. Oh, shit. I understand, say. I understand. We have to kill this person. <laughs> I love how, like, all of my solutions is just, like, violence. Mmm, I understand. It's mail time. He DM me one word and it was just poison. <sighs> oh, 
overwhelming violence the solution to all of life's problems to alcohol the solution to and cause of all of life's problems I passed out when I came to I was in hospital. Apparently the kick ruptured a couple of organs and I was put in emergency care. Damn. The guy that was here the last time I came. He's the one that saved us. Wait, which guy? Jamie? Oh, Virgilio? What? Is he like actually cracked? Is it the giant question mark on his forehead? Is it the giant question mark on his forehead? You know how? Steampunk museum. Gotcha. He's literally Boo Radley for real, for real. He's literally Boo Radley for real, for real. I'll go take my break. The Giga Chad. Was calling hi, Squiggy, earlier? Let's go. Save. Exactly, from Mockingbird. I wonder if I left food for four. Shh. I'm still distracted. Okay, you okay, Dorothy? You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Ah, uh, honey. You want something? Piano woman? She seems down. No, it's already big. <clears throat> Aged. This is nice. Uh oh. Is it the Lilim thing? There's like somebody sending messages to Lilim and it's like distracting them, right? What's up with you? How do you know what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? Oh, I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy? Crisis. Solipsis. Solipsism. Theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. That word.
Stop telling people to calm down. You calm down, Jill. Stop making up words. I have another piano woman. It's the most expensive thing, I think. I need money, Dorothy. I'm really sorry. Hello, Vanessa. Welcome back. Bottle drinks are 500. We'll give her the piano woman because she likes them, right? Yo, what's wrong with you? Wow, Jill, you're being a real dick. I think. I was remembering the good times I had with my guardian, but I don't know, it was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now, how much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. Out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is fun? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation of some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys that have been in this situation, like, a real Axel-like response. Can I give it to you? Whenever I start thinking this way, it's like, am I real? Does anything ever even matter? Right? It's like, does anything even matter? Is anything real? What is the point of it all, right? I buy, like, the most ridiculously expensive, like, best-tasting meal, and it's like, oh, cool. It doesn't even matter if nothing is real or matters. It tastes delicious. <laughs> I need to live long enough to taste that again. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't matter if the plot of the simulation is mid, the food is top tier. Reject nihilism, embrace absurdism. Exactly. One time when I was having an existential crisis, I bought, it was cheaper back then because food was cheaper back then, right? Food is like crazy expensive now, but I bought, I bought a $90 prime rib, <laughs> like a prime prime rib, not, not choice, not select a prime prime rib for $90. And I live, well, I've always lived alone since I moved out. But I live alone and I bought a $90 prime rib and then I made it for myself and I was eating it and I was like, it doesn't even fucking matter if nothing matters. I've got prime rib. I've got prime rib. Your argument is irrelevant. There you go. Okay. That was a long time ago. A, a whole prime prime rib right now is like $200. It's like $200 now. Okay. Panic attacks. Feel something. Feel got, fear got worse. More if you want it dry aged. I'm not, I'm not high class enough to get dry aged prime rib. I just get like... The most expensive one at the supermarket that I can get at. Yeah. 
existential crisis averted wallet destroyed the danger the danger of getting like a tv or a bicycle or something an expensive piece of hardware is that like you can overpay for a piece of hardware and never really use it unless you're letting the food go rotten and throwing it away it's gonna go inside of you and your body will convert it to poop right i did not get wagyu wagyu is like way too high i got prime yeah like a boar spear exactly did you get over it oddly enough i read a book the last train in the world the last train in the world is a book that was written by a human a brain in a jar correct i actually want to buy a rail gun that i saw holy smokes taylor you get mileage out of bad food, too. True. True. And I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that, too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. Have you guys ever watched that Will Ferrell movie where he's like the main character in this asshole's novel? There's like a Will Ferrell movie where he's like the main character in a novel and somebody is like narrating his life. I liked it a lot. It was really good. A really good friend recommended it to me and I watched it and I was like, this is a good movie. Yeah, Stranger Than Fiction. I will not spoil a damn thing for you. Please go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. No spoilers. It's a good movie. It is the most interesting... It's the most interesting Will Ferrell... Bit? I don't know what to call it. Like, he acts completely differently. He's like a different person in that movie. It's like wild. Revan, thank you for being a master member for six months. Valhalla, one of my favorite games. Glad that you like it. I don't like it, Revan. I love it. I love the hell out of it. Even this little Hellion that is probably going to demonetize all three of my streams. She's like T-posing and I'm just like a sobbing wreck on the floor. I love her too. I love you, you idiot. You're demonetizing my stream, but I love you. I love this game. It's so good. Anyway. Can I take this drink? I made it for you. Okay, then. What the? Days. Be monetizing your stream so you don't have to do it yourself. Is that Kellogg? Kellogg? Kellogg's PP. Thank you very much for being a member for six months. What are you doing down there, Vest? You drink yourself under the YouTube vid? Uh, yeah. Right, it, do, it do be that way. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made? And? It burns and it itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Mario? Is that you, Mario? Mario! I want to play. It's called Mario Twins. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. That's the boss. I'll get it for her. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. First name, Mario. Last name, Mario. I'm a Wario. I'm not gonna win. I think I do a pretty good Wario. Like a, like a 7 out of 10, right? Wario was my favorite character in uh, um, Mario Kart 64. It's like a 7 out of 10, right? It's pretty good. 
Solid 7.5. 6.5 out of 10? I'm losing my touch. He's a wiener? A really big wiener? Art of Kuma, thank you for being a bachelor for six months. This and Soma hurt my brain. I'm much the Axel Voss after to recover. Bit Slinger, thank you very much for being a member for three months. Albino Black Sheep. I remember that. Normal Mar, thank you for being a member for six months. It's been six months. It's been crazy, right? Hey, honey. Revan, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Aha, you're so funny, Dorothy. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it, Dorothy. Stop. Dorothy, we're streaming right now. Stop it. Stop. Dorothy, stop. Maybe we could prepare some right now. Seriously, Jill? Yeah, put it in the fridge. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mar Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. the last one actually i'll accept your offer i love a sunshine cloud hell yeah mario and you i'm fine one fifty that's fine we'll send on the rocks blend it There you go. Hey, um... You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Lilim? Ah! He's a man's man. He likes men. Not that there's anything wrong with like women, but I wasn't hitting on you. I was just thinking, thanking you, thanking me. <laughs> it's easier than you think. I don't know It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your... Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. Yeah, she's great. You like motorcycles? I do, yeah. The motor district. There was a gang that was fighting, right? Illegal races, yeah. You're not a cop, are you? Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there are semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? 
I don't know what goes on in them. Substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everybody knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating, but the truth is no one has ever faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. Huh. Interesting. Vesper, just know I see you drawing figure eights around his goggles. Whoops. Menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anybody. Huh. Got anything else? I'll have a piano man. Got it. Ooh. Can I make this a biggie? No. No. On the rocks, mix. There you go. You two an item? <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? You work with... <laughs> You don't feel the least bit tempted? Sniffs. This is the origin of boy smell. This is the origin of boy smell. That stupid meme. This is the origin of the boy smell meme right here. Past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. <laughs> it's pretty good. You have to do a voice tweet of that meme. Done. Alright, time to speed run this game. customers <laughs> kill you got some stories just push into a closet eh not interested you annoy me bartender I'm out please come again ah Gil you heartbreaking fuck boy Did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Your sausage came in. I should just call you Abe Froman, Dana. Because you're basically the sausage king of Chicago. Abe Froman. The sausage king of Chicago. Vesper, are you drunk? Well, I'm not sober, I'll tell you that. The Glizzy Queen! It's a gift for my folks, those delayed in customs, but here it is. No, I'm sober, I haven't had any alcohol. I haven't. <laughs> That's a new one. I was not drinking. No. It's a it's a Ferris Bueller bit. Abe Froman. 
You guys don't know Abe Froman? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I need 10k. Monarchy Nekos bring luck. I don't have enough money. I need 10k. First space po colony. Shin outer space. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. Don't let the outer paradise come and fool you. The only reason for this loss is it can have control over the population. Based. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. Get with the times, Grandma. Hatsune Miko. Sting's face. Water Pro Wrestling G. Dang it. Roan Paul? Huh. That bar- uh oh. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Her, everyone is a neat just like me. Anyways. Place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit m more of a bro. Did she reject your advances, smiley face? I mean, if you're going to go there just to chat. Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Bummer. Sounds good enough for me. The thread is closed. Huh. We save. Alright, go to work. Jill's ego searching? I know what that is now, but I don't know why you would do that. Why would you ever do that? <gasps> it's the waifu. You get criticism? That's true. That's true. If you have like pretty healthy self-esteem, it's good to like get criticism, right? If it's like already, if it's already bad, then like you could just think, you could just look it inward and be like, ah, there it is. There's a criticism. Yeah. Ah, Jill. I'm about to get firecrackers. Vlad the Vlad, thank you for being a member for a month. Sorry for interrupting, but random question. Do you like the Zelda games like Ocarina of Time and things like that? Okay, Ocarina of Time, I've played and I like. My favorite Zelda game is Wind Waker. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. We need some? Yes, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds and I don't care. Jamie's here. What the? Anyway, let's start. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Yeah, yeah, shut up. 
Did anything, did something fly over here two weeks ago on Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises through the night. Yeah. Those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise? Uh-oh. So it remained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Interesting. So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Uh, now get me a Mars Blast. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. Zendero, thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Did I miss somebody? Choco Leaf, thank you for being a member for three months. Thanks for one streams. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on our uh, Mars Blast. This is a big boy. Right? Yeah, it's already big. Blend it. Check, check, check. Those things appear when Jill is distracted. Yeah. Can you bar a tender? I don't know. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. Mercurius, thank you for being a member for six months. First and only VTuber I've ever had a membership for? Really? Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know how to react to that. I'm doing my best. I'm not going to make fun of myself. No, 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 no. If I make fun of myself, I'm dunking on the people that are like betting on me, right? Actually, I had a moment yesterday and it made me a little bit emotional. There was an animation that I watched and I liked it. It made me laugh, and it was an animation about me. And then I liked and retweeted it, and then I was like, am I funny? It's the first time in my life I've ever thought I was funny. Yeah, the one where I'm screaming? Yeah. I got like emotions, like maybe I am kind of funny. I don't know. Anyway, it passed really quick, but... I had a moment. I had a weird moment. I have never, I don't think I've ever made that noise in real life. So I don't know where it came from. I don't make that noise in real life. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> I don't, I never make that noise. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's weird. Do you really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. It came from the soul. I can fight dirty. Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like saying that you get people drunk for a living. Where's the lie? I only watch streamers that make me laugh. Oh, that makes me happy. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Uber Hobbert, thank you for being a member for six months. I literally enjoy every stream I can catch, funny man. Thank you, thank you. Riggy, thank you for being a member for five months. Just you're a funny old man, just not, not just funny looking. Joseph Barnes, thank you for the super chat. I'm literally paying you money because I think you're funny. We believe you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Nirvana, thank you for the super chat once again. Crank that never fails to kill me. That stream went down in history. I should thank my manager for yeah. Kuropi, thank you for the super- Oh shit, I'm starting it. I've been watching VTubers since the Kizuna Eye era. Me too. You're literally one of my favorites. Have some confidence. Thank you. Much appreciated. Demos, thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome. Solera Vastora, thank you for the super chat. You're 100% funny man, funny man. Kamiyoshi, we love you. Thank you, Solera. I, I appreciate it. Pasokan, thank you for the super chat again. Before I forget, since you're near the end, if you want more Valhalla content after the main game, there's a prologue with the Corgis. There's also a day with Anna. 
Valhalla Kids in a 30 page short story. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do that on stream, but I'm gonna go through all of like the Valhalla content. Boombot, thank you very much for the super chat. The way you joke and meme makes me belly laugh every time you're incredibly funny. Thank you. I'm not gonna get sappy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I appreciate it though. Bloom, thank you for being a member for six months. I've been watching VTubers for a few years, but you're the first member. You're a funny man. Thank you. What? Keep it together, old man. <clears throat> you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right. Sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe that I'm the only one here who enjoys them aside from the owner. Ah. Be strong, Florence. Be strong for mother. I mean, I suggest you try suplex next time. It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Four Bronson. Full send. Six Flander Glide. Guide. Six Karmatrine. All in the rocks. Mix it. Get that bread. There you go. Good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie, and you are? I'm Ingram. If you weren't entertaining, you wouldn't be here. It's true. It's true. True. Chelsea Rose, thank you very much for being a member for three months. Incredibly funny. I'm supporting you all the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Specific file at hmm. a nano machine expunge? I did actually. I figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. People with nano machine rejection that feel oddly. What? The second one. Huh. How does the expunge work? like little needles all over your body. Oh. Key time. Thank you very much for the super chat. My husband and I watch you together and love sharing the laughs. Thank you for being you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Huh. Huh. Interesting. In your gums, your toes, everywhere. I recall, huh, different person, different person. They need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. And, and thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you. Thank you. This is a gut punch. Yeah, should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. You want a gut punch? A gut punch is super cheap. It's one of the cheapest drinks, right? 80? Yeah. It's okay. We'll full send it. Aged. Thanks. Here we go. Money, money! I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with? Is it this thing right here? All other maintenance systems. 
can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nano machines in the body outweigh the cons. Okay. Okay. Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. To be fair, let's let's argue for Ingram, right? It is better to under promise and over deliver than it is to over deliver and never promise, right? And and over promise and under deliver. So he's like, I hate Ingram. Jankin, think about it though. He's a he's a tsundere, right? But he's like, don't don't expect me to come back because I don't want to disappoint you. But if I do come back, right? Also, Ingram fights dirty. Yeah. Shut up. Seem like a nice guy. Right. Junkin, welcome to, be, to the associates. Thank you very much. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day? Nah, I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. The guy tires the hell out of me. Alma! What's Give me a bad touch, that way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> Full send. On the rock. Mix. Here you go. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Mm, guilty as charged. What put you in a good mood? My sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only did she show up later than her husband and drunk at that. Okay. She forgot to bring her kids. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and started, Diana started throwing a temper tantrum. Wow. She doesn't even take care of the kids. She's like, I don't care about the kids, but I'm not going to let my enemy have them. It's like, what if he does a better job than you? You don't even care about them. What the hell is wrong with this lady? Alma, how are you related to that person? You're so sweet and nice. How are you related to that person? That's crazy. That's insane. He was abusive? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, shit. I must have missed that. Wasn't he the abusive one? Okay, fuck him too then. I actually missed that. <laughs> I apologize. I don't think I was paying attention. Then make sure it kills you, because we aren't dealing with you. I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but... I've been laughing for an hour now. Woo! You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time, even slept in the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. 
she had other things that she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, age difference and all. There is something in particular I still can't forgive. Friends to the house and I went to ask her for something. And as I was leaving, one of our friends advised her sister. And she said she had no little sisters. Ha. Huh. Huh. 40 years? What? How so? She hasn't matured one bit. not actually 40 she's older than grandpa that was a joke that she made earlier ah i missed it how are you everything's fine aside from this note last shot at my dead ex's sister yeah i got this note from her wow she must really feel bad about the whole thing as do I. What's the problem? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place? Right. Give me a Brantini. There's a little story I want to tell you. Right. This one's a little bit more complicated, right? Yeah. We're going to full send it. 10, 12, 6 powder delta, only one, 2 carmatrine. Age it, mix it, send it. Not the full, the full send, full send it. Full send, here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Completely from said sister. She looks like her stand, right? This is the position of a stand being summoned, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like the slide out and it makes that noise. It goes, right? up for her achievements shut up Anna said sister would even marry the girl's best friend what sister would quit her job quitting her high-ranking job The girl, even as the fault, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She felt like a part of her had crumbled. Enough? Shit. Peace out. I mean, I know the girl is you and the sister is your best sister, but please get... If you don't face her, she'll be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. I must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. Can I get a beer? Uh, do I remember the beer? This, this, th this, 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 and then full send the rest of it, I think. 
Ja. Can I hit 4K? 40K? So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as their sister-in-law. She got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books, her, played with her a lot. Huh. Mojken, thank you for being a member for five months. I was about to buy the merch, but no shipping to EU. Yeah. I can't promise anything, but like, it's a great company and they're doing their best. Like stuff is in the works and you know, sometimes you try your hardest and like, it doesn't work out, but they're, they're doing their best, you know? Yeah. Even, even a great company still has to grow, right? And there's like room for improvement. It's a good thing. But I'm sorry about the inconvenience. I feel it. I feel it. She's pretty much my sister too. Ah. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. It's both a big and a little sister. If you don't grant that girl a chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Okay, we gotta go. I just thought that the kettle was gorgeous. Thank you. We worked really hard on it. I... The thing that I was hung up on was that like... <laughs> the thing that I was hung up on was that like, I, w I originally wanted them to match color. And then people were like, oh, we tried our best, but like, if, if it's a choice between stuff that's a little bit lower quality and they match, or like two really high quality things, but they're like not going to match, like, what do you prefer? And I was like, I think high quality is better. Yeah. Like a heavier, like more. Yeah. Yeah. It was a difficult choice to make, but I think, yeah. There was a small New Year's party this Saturday, if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Cool. I did my best. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. All right. Bo! Jank Jill is back! Ladies and gentlemen, Jank Jill. Everybody, Vesties, I'd like to introduce you to Jank Jill. Whoa! You were here? I'm gonna kick your ass! That boy ain't right, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm going to sell propane and propane accessories if my grades are good enough. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite Dale line is not even a line from this show. It's when the Game Grumps were talking about like how to deal with haters. There's like a Game Grumps bit where they're talking about how to deal with haters and they're like, just imagine their hate hurtful words in the voice of Dale Gribble and they can't hurt you anymore. I miss when Aaron used to animate. What happened to that sellout? <laughs> anyway. You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you and you didn't hear it. Oh. That's honestly perfect. Nothing hurts when you don't understand. Exactly. Call me if anything comes up. Yeah. Save. Save. We're in. It's less chilly today. Ah, ready. 
Jill, a kid's looking for you. Oh, shit. Oh, Norma, hello. Whew. Oh, fuck you. You do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Actually, I wanted to thank you. Oh, good. For starters, by not complying, giving me alcohol, okay? I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And I said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. Oh. After that, she told me that it'd be a waste to spend money in a university just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to the college course, but that I was free to explore. Oh. You, Normie? Twitch Y Johnson. A scathing burn. For me, for me, nothing cuts deeper than you, right? That's like, oh shit. I can laugh off cringe. I can laugh off like anything, right? But you is like, oh no, it's like bone deep. Shut up, Min. Get out of here. <laughs> Nothing cuts deeper than Normie. I've only been called Normie once in my life. I've only been called a Normie once in my entire life. It's by the cousin that I grew up disliking very strongly because she was like the model. You know, like, you know, you everybody's got like a cousin that is like the top of the generation. And then your, your parents always compare you to that cousin, right? And you're like, oh, you should be like them. They're going to Harvard or some crap like that. Oh, they're going to be a doctor. Why can't you be more like them? They they never they never go out and party. They're always studying, right? I had a cousin like that that we were just always compared to, and I hated that cousin. And they hated me, right? Oh, whatever. Anyways, but then I grew up and then I hung out with that cousin. <laughs> she ended up being pretty cool. So we had like a good chat. Ended up being like. I'll just say it outright. <laughs> this cousin that I thought was perfect doctor went to a prestigious med school. She's a Fujo. <laughs> She's like a straight up Fujo. So I do have a family member, I guess, that's also like into nerdy stuff. But very far removed. I think I've only talked to her like once in the last 10 years, right? <laughs> so we had a chat and then I was like, you're surprisingly like cool. I didn't know like I had another like anime, like I didn't know there's somebody that I could talk anime with. It's like really cool. Like you're the only one, right? And she looked me straight in the eye. She looked me straight in the eye and she was like Vesper. To me, you're a normie. And it like hurt. It hurt me so bad. I've never once in my entire life considered myself a normie. <laughs> but <laughs> to my eyes, you're a normie. And it's like, oh shit. <laughs> you kind of are compared to a Fujo. <laughs> I didn't want to say it because it's a pejorative term, right? It's like not. I think it literally means like not good, right? It's like it's like an insult. So I was considering not saying it, but like it is what it is, right? Thank you, Choco Leaf, for being a bachelor for three months. Attorney at music, thank you for being a master for, for six months. Yeah, it's like it's like actual like it's not even a joke, it's like actually derogatory. Tory, right? So I was like, people embraced it, but that doesn't mean like an out. I don't know. Anyways, we're just gonna move on. <laughs> so compared to, <laughs> she's like, I consider you a normie. It's like, ah, shit. It hurts. It burns. It burns us. Ah! <laughs> 
I guess that means I lied. I said, like, I'm the only, like, nobody in my family is into, like, anime, but she is. But we can't even, like, talk about the same stuff, right? Yeah. Most of us are normal. <laughs> That's saying something. Pancake Vesper. <laughs> Does she know about you? I've only, I, the last time I talked to her was, like, pre pre-pandemic right the last time i talked to her was like well before the pandemic like three years two or three years before the pandemic so it's been a while since i've talked to her she lives like on the other side of the country yeah i don't talk to her at all like at all yeah so she told me to just, yeah glad to hear that and well i wanted to thank you for that kite Thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. If we just, she might be into one of the Tempest boys. The funniest option if she owes she's you without knowing. I don't. No, 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 no. The greater anime community doesn't watch VTubers. We're a niche within a niche. You guys can't scare me. You guys can't scare me. VTubing might seem like the biggest thing in the world to the people that are in the know, but we are a niche within a niche right now. Like you guys are like, people are like, oh, there's too many VTubers, there's too many VTubers. You guys are still at the ground. Like you guys are still like at essentially, in my opinion, the beginning of like a VTuber like boom, right? You guys are still early adopters in my opinion. Everybody that's into VTubers right now is still what I would consider an early adopter. It's a niche within a niche. Yeah. I'm telling you. We're, we're fine. No, I don't think she does. There's no way. There's no way. That's Mega. Thank you very much for the super chat. Would your cousin be Magni X Betel or Betel X Magni? I don't freaking know. I don't know, man. Okay, nope. If I rushed headfirst to my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. True. I don't know, man. I'm just a streamer. Vesper's a normie. Oh, come on! Haka laka 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 0.9. Ah, I'm a normie. So thank you. No problem, you infant child. You get the head pats. I'll leave before it gets too late out. Yeah. Be careful. You. Oh, no. no. Vesper nor me. <laughs> Dude, you bury rice. You're not a normie. Yeah, it's true. My decoy rice is in a shed on my aunt's property. My decoy rice is in a shed. It's stored in a shed, but I have some that nobody knows where it is and it's buried. Cause like my aunt and her entire family knows like that that's there. Yeah. My actual decoy rice is not buried. I have decoy rice. Yeah. The decoy will lead you to the real rice. Did she call you a normie before or after you ditched work for a cross country hobo? That was before. Yeah. That was before. Ah, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane on it.
Uh, full send. Wait, do I get money for this? If I don't get the money, then what's the point? Blend it. I got the money. Lonnie, thank you very much for the super, uh, for being a member for six months. Thank you very much. Being so deep in the rabbit hole that people further up than you see normal is an interesting place to be. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We only full send in this bar. He also has decoy ones that are trapped. Oh, they're all trapped. Even the real ones. Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but by the fact that the only I can see you. If they wanted, they could see me. <clears throat> Why can I? Ghost? You're the main character, Dino. What are you? A cute girl? Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Deus, thank you for being a member for six months. What kind of traps are there in the catches? Any hints? Um. Hmm. The kind that will... Make it very much not worth trying to go for them in a post-apocalyptic scenario where there are no hospitals. Do you understand? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Shadow Tech, thank you very much for being a member for two months. That's really the thing that I think a lot of people don't understand. They think that people will be like way more aggressive and like crazy in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. But the thing is, like, you'll become more risk-averse, not less. Right? I feel like people are really risk-averse nowadays because you could just... You could usually go to the hospital and, like, shake it off, right? But, like, when there are no more hospitals, there's no more, like, support infrastructure, you become more risk-averse, not less, right? Yeah. Pretty sure that's just illegal though. Yeah. Whatever you did. Yeah. If you have that foresight. Not all those people are gonna be smart though. It's true. I think a lot about how I think a lot about how <laughs> you take the average person in the entire world and half the world is stupider than them. I think about that a lot. I think about that a lot. I think a lot about how you, you take the average, the most average person in the world and half the world is stupider than them. It just like makes me go wild. It's crazy. A beer? Sure. Two, four, two, uh, ah. two, four, two, four, full send. Mix that bad boy. Send it. Is that you underestimate how smart the average person is. True, true. Would you lighten up if I showed you that I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There.
What the fuck? Lonnie, thank you for the super chat. Who's average in Tempest? Who is the half below? Who is the half above? Hmm, good question. I don't know. Weird. Nobody expects the Dorth Inquisition. Oh no. Ouch, I bit my tongue. Can't believe I'm using the spare tongue. What? Fluffy fluff fluff fluffy dream an FD fluff a drink <laughs> always carry a spare in a bar this dicey Sinitsu, thank you very much for the super chat. Your rice story reminded me of a Reddit thread where a guy bought bags of beans during the pandemic and his girlfriend buried them and refused to say where. Mm, you shouldn't be using bags. You should be using like a bucket. A bucket that you seal. You know what I'm talking about? And it can't be enough to have like a top. Like you have to seal it. You have to seal it, seal it. Or else like the, like even like an epoxy will degrade. And then once the water gets in there, it's over. It's done. You have to keep in mind that like, even if you live in like the Death Valley, there will be like occasionally like water. Yeah. It probably sprouted by now. Yeah. Like a five gallon bucket. Like... If you work at a bakery, they, they buy things in buckets, right? Yeah. A bag is not enough. It's not enough. Okay. Fluffy dream where we're going to full send it. Six. Six. Aged. Mixed. Bob, thank you for the super chat. That's never gonna happen. I apologize. I'm sorry, but that's that's never gonna happen. Ban that super chat. Oh yeah, before you leave. So close to 40 k You guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. I'll be there then. Old man yells at water, get off my bucket. Bob, get some help. Jail that super chat. That boy ain't right. Mm -mm. Sorry, I sneezed. Becky. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. Get them through more shady means. She's gonna buy them from the internet. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Sure you're fine. Hey Jill, mind if I ask a silly question? Go ahead. Silly answers can get on my nerves though. What do you want to ask? Yeah, why do they call them cat boomers? That's a good question. 
second set of ears since that looks like a cat butt. The word boomer seems so out of place. Yeah. Their parents who were called such. Oh? You do know why cat boomers look like that, right? And there's still a fetus. It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Okay. Catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nanomachine rejection. Moreover, the research had a bit of a rocky story. Critical point that could make or break the whole thing. At all? The rest of the research was funded by... Maki Stringovich. Huh. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Under the research, in a desperate move, his wife offered her- Oh! Created a weird fad. No ailments? Media darling? Parents got called cat boomers. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. Ha! Huh. Because that's what they are. Eh? You didn't think those things on their heads were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and ear muscles. React to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. Those ears are just a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. You're a scholar, Gil. You're a scholar and a fuckboy. And I respect the hell out of you. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait. What? Yeah, the guy's name was Strangovich. Huh? I just remembered. There's some TV specials featuring her. Oh. Ah. I had the biggest crush on her. Ah. Very confused. Did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. All right, careful out there. Okay. Oh, I'm getting kind of close. One more day. One more day. I'm so close. Oh. Birth rates decrease as the youth prefers Lulim Company. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans is treated as a joke, but the reality is that the convenience of these kind of relationships have become immensely popular. Annie May, 17 year old student, agrees with the general sentiment. It's just so much better than dealing with other people, you know? You can just make your own perfect partner. Don't even get me started. Don't you feel sorry for the Lilim? Don't you feel sorry for the Lilim?
I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. I'm probably just being stupid. Because, I mean, one of the most beloved characters that we've interacted with is Alilim, right? I don't know. I can't put words to it, but something about it is, like, not right. I don't feel right about it. I like to say that we have the freedom to wear whatever we like. Declare that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail as punishment for using the abominable combo. As somebody that doesn't like it, I would, if this actually happened in my city, I would start wearing it just to get thrown in jail. If I ever, if I ever miss a stream for three days, it's because I went to jail for wearing sandals and socks. I don't want the man to tell me what to do, man. Even though I think it's garbage, I don't like sandals and socks, but I would wear it just to stick it to the man. Zachlin, welcome to the association. All right, you want to know the reason why I don't like sandals and socks? You know the reason why I don't like it? It has nothing to do with the way that it looks. I don't think it's based on the way that it looks. I think it's because if I wear sandals and socks, I'm going to get my socks dirty. I don't want to get my socks dirty. Yeah. Like dust and dirt and like stuff, right? Yeah. I do wash them. I do. <clears throat> Wearing them outside is weird. Inside is fine. I just go barefoot wherever I can. Incredible. Incredible. That Hobbit lifestyle is, dare I say it, giga-based. Arnolfo Mendez. You admire the Hobbit lifestyle and you and you live it in your daily life, and I think that's incredibly commendable. Did you do you live in a house that has a perfectly round door and the knob is right in the middle? Which is like, how does that even work? How does the mechanics of a door with a knob in the middle of the door work? Like how long is the the bolt bar thing, right? How does that even work? It's incredible. Long enough? Oh, I wish. Me too. It's like magnets. You roll it open like a wheel, like a like a fallout vault. It like like comes out and then it rolls to the side. You love it. Craving that Hobbit lifestyle. You! Anyways, okay. We have to finish this game or I'm not going to finish it and I have to fucking do the boy smell meme. Is a voice tweet? I'm going to finish it. Ah, oh, shit. It's already 4.30. Inflation rates. Got it. Quincy. All right. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy. Don't go out after 5 p.m. Bring a portable chair. You have to line up for flour. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Here's his mistake. Soon we won't be able to escape. No, 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 no. We save. Go to work. 
Good evening. Hey. Still missing a couple things for Saturday. The official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Two people in the vicinity at all times. Okay. If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to have fake helplessness. Okay. Fair. Fair. You do not have to do boy smell. In fact, please don't. I'm going to finish the game, Motif. So I don't have to. I'll finish it. What gives you that impression? A gut feeling. Did you know that Gil has a crush? Ayo? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages and he's only just started opening up. Huh! Gil is literally me. I always end up as the one who buys the stuff when the party happens. Like, you go out for ice. You go out for, like... Oh, we're out of ketchup. Yeah. But he's taking steps backwards and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar I take him. That's right. Alright then, to the office I go. As for me... Boom. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Get with the crush, huh? Oh shit! It's Kiramiki! Oh shit, there's an unpleasant guy on my trail. We should call Dana. Dana! Dana, boss! We needed a suplex of a hater. Let's fucking go! Jill! Jill and I are on a 100% synchro rate right now. Jill and I are at a 100% synchro rate. Oh, hi there, doggy. That's the bathroom. You. Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey, kid, I'll have the usual. Right. Lionel Contreras, thank you very much for the super chat. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I, I should get some more, more emotes out there soon. Definitely. Uh, mix. It seems right. The paper's been, it's been better. The guy from Jupiter, hello, hello. Welcome in. A U emote, a big beer, extra thick. Get ready to hate him more. Hmm. Some sort of reward. I see no difference in my feed though. Okay. Every company have an eye on and every publication they haven't bought yet. Find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Huh. 
BTC has been going ape shit closing bars lately. Yeah. Let, yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a trafficking ring. Illegal chicken restaurants. Really? Cool. Wow. Huh. Not to mention there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from reading their home, raiding their homes or warehouses. After this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright, kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Can I full send this? Yes, I can. On the rocks, blend it. Here. Now let's see what the ruckus is all about. Uh, so, what brought here? Oh right, didn't you see a Lilin coming in here? Blue hair. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump to the roof then? Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her! Why though? Don't you have like a family or something? driver okay Get down to give him one. I've never met a guy that age that would talk like that. Maybe a young, drunk dude, bro, but that's it. Yeah. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems to get a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. She is! She's also incredibly powerful. Her sister's a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple photos. What? It's incredible. How nice of you. It's nothing really. She did hide me, so it's the least that I could do. <clears throat> Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Piano woman? I need money. What's the most expensive sweet drink?
Yeah, piano woman. Here we go. Blue fairy. <sighs> she wanted something sweet. We'll give her something sweet. Oh, you're right. You double it. You're right. You can't double the piano woman. It's just a big drink already. Three forty. This is a little bit more expensive. Okay. One eighty. You can double this one too. A little bit more. Three sixty. You can double a Brantini. Maybe a Brantini then. The Brantini, I think, will give you the most. It's 500, right? Any sweet bottle drinks? She did like the Mulan tea, right? Let's give her a Brantini. A full send Brantini. Alright. Aged. Mixed. Send it. Thanks. Do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. Oh, shoot. Hey, Nina. How you doing? This is a good game. Have you ever played it? I love this game. It's really good. The main character is literally me for real, for real. I'm already drinking. I promised the Vessies that I wouldn't drink anymore, so I'm not going to drink. You beat it? So many people always recommend it. It's a good game. These questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with. I just didn't want to humor him. Fair. Fair. What are we drinking? <laughs> Get her a drink. I see. He's just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyway. Got him. Water. Water. <laughs> we love good water. LA water. Disgusting mixed drink. It's really bad. A recommended drink? How about a flaming moai? One, one, two, three, five, right? One, one, two, three, five. Gunpowder tea. <laughs> the best friend. Not into older guys and I've already committed. Hey, nice. The ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but. Oh, shoot. I don't know how I feel about that. Kira. Are you sure you should be talking? Okay. Really? Huh. I don't know if you should trust somebody that does that. IDK. <laughs> Order some Merlot. Let's go, Genos. Can I be real? I don't think you should trust somebody that does that. IDK. Am I alone in thinking that? I don't know. Hmm. How nice. We trust bartenders. Nah, you ain't alone. Yeah. He's a stick in the mud. We're planning his do, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. Okay. All right. 
I've met two fans of yours recently. Yeah, the stupid streamer Chen and the other one, right? <laughs> Cute girls can never deceive. I watched a clip of you. I watched a clip of you that were like, men are easy. Just be nice to them. <laughs> and I laughed because it's true. <laughs> Am I wrong? You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans in sit well. I have many plans. I have many, many people who like my music. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, homie. <laughs> Shame that most people won't take that advice. True. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image for me. Huh. Do you like what I do? Do you like my music? Yeah. It's good. Compliment your homies good night. Few things I've heard are really good. Not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Yes, we have tea. Yes, 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 yes. We have tea. Bottle drink. Tea. You shake it. Yeah. There you go. Hey, you're a king class Chia pet. That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Hmm. Is the only character with a canon voice? What? EFC 2s have a port on their heads, which makes them more ver versatile. Resilience is a DT-01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. Interesting. So no head ports? Throws cell phone onto the ground. Jumps onto a skateboard, snapping it in half. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. Solera Vistora, thank you for the super chat once again. What is this? What are you saying? Hi, Jill Noir. One Vesper Noir from my good Fox Mom here. Extra karma dream. We can't. She can't. The glass can't handle that much carmetrine. It'll shatter. There's too much carmetrine. It's too much. A trade off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. Will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out, never mind how expensive they are. So I guess it's a no, sorry. Now you will. Here. Eh? It's a ticket for my Encore concert. Yo! We're in. We're in. Accept it, you fool. I don't know, I like you. We're in. No, 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 she's in a relationship. We're out, we're out. We're not in, we're out. She's taken. We respect that. We respect that. You're attentive and hear me out. That behavior should be rewarded more. Well, thanks. God, it feels weird to get a gift. You got a gift? Who did you get a gift from? Where, who, where did we get the rum from? Is this Stella? 
Somebody give us rum as a gift, too, right? You deserve it. Thank you, thank you. Understand how much you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get quite a few from fans, but it always feels so weird. Hmm. I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Same! How? Just give it my all on stage? Oh, I like you! It's only natural for me to do my best to give it my all as a way to repay them. Yeah. Undefined, thank you for the super chat. I'll buy a chug jug sized bottle for your karma tree needs. Go ahead, Jill Noir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I should uh, give it my all mixing drinks then. Of course. I see. Let's have a sparkle star first. Got it. Full send. Should I do this? Full send. Aged. Mixed. Here you go. Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Uh... Boss, Gil is back, so I'll take my break. Alrighty. One of the versions is full vocals. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. We save. Note to self, buy oil for that door. I will remember that. All right, then. Gil, you're in my spot. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. Would you believe me? Without a doubt. WD-40? There's a bit in King of the Hill where Hank is trying to make a lock like work right it's like a stuck lock and then he tries to open a can of wd-40 but the cap is like stuck in place and then he's got a tiny little wd bottle 40 like on a belt clip and he takes the wd-40 out of the belt clip and then he sprays the bottle and opens it and then he sprays it Mwah! chef's kiss the writing for that is just incredible legendary even it's one of my favorite moments in King of the Hill. He's literally me for real, for real. That's me. That's like Vesper Core. That's like me. Anyway, let's go with that. Stella! What can I get you? I'll go with the Bleeding Jane. That doesn't have any Karma Train. If I recall correctly. Yeah. Uh, two. Six. Six. Blend it. Ayasano, thank you very much for the super chat. One big bad touch, please. Also, you are now aware of what? Shit, I am aware of it. Avid Fic Reader, thank you for being a member for six months. I have to dig out in a bit. I have a nice shift to get to, but have fun. I will. Thank you very much. Take it easy at work. Take it easy at work. I hope you have a, a nice, easy day. No stress. No stress. Joke's on you. I'm always aware. Thank you. I'm probably here today. Waiting for say. Stop by to say hi. Oh. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. 
so quiet and secluded. Clean, really clean. Gil is the one you can know that too. The guy takes pride in how clean he makes things around here. Oh. Really? Mm hmm. He's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Gold Rush. Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white night suits. Why? No, Revan! Fuck! Alright. No. Oh. How is it a gold rush? The tech behind the suits was always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry? After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, bricking many of them in the process. Oh, that's why they stopped moving! Miguel Dominguez, thank you very much for the super chat. I did win. I... Might even be a wiener. I am wiener. You are wiener. We're all wieners, right? I'm now breathing manually. Freedom. Thank you very much. Salute. Dropped their armor right then. Fled when... Yeah. Any white knight to take the armor off manually to run away. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. Junk lying around. The whole scientific community is rejoicing. I wonder why. Cognito hazards are fun. New tech. Old field ripe with patents open for many, so I say yes. Huh. There's one weird case, though. Huh? huh. Five people, including himself. Probably modded that they look like a squad of henshin heroes. Okay. Respect it. Revan, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. They looked really gaudy. The guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. Understand. You sure know a lot about this. Dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. Lower their guard. True. Wait. A fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. Draconian methods. What the heck? If you hold the bottle the wrong way and get in the way of a logo, what? Theme parks, those are the dystopias of their own. He 
has no power anyways. He's just a front that whatever counts. Oh. Huh. So what you're saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park. Huh. Can I get a Br Brantini? Got it. Good money. Oh, baby, a double. Age it, mix it, full send. I want more tea. Here you go. So I take it in here in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well, I mentioned to have a couple of tickets for the Kiramigi on. Yo, nice. Are you sure you should say that? I don't know if you should. Again? Ahem, sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised that she remembered my name. And like last time, she's quite the graceful client. She's great! It's a roast tea. It's a roasted tea. And it's very good. I think Stella's trustworthy. True, true. But I do think... I do think even though she's trustworthy, she's a fan, right? Even though she's a very trustworthy per person and probably maybe my favorite, she's still a fan to Kiramiki, right? And I think that like very much complicates things, right? It's, it's hard to have any type of relationship, like a friendship. You can't be friends with someone that's not on an equal footing with you, in my opinion. She's a fan. <laughs> No, 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 that's not the reason. It's just more like, I think friendships, I think all relationships, except maybe like, well, even parent and child relationships, once the child grows up, you should be on an equal footing, right? I think. Uh, some people might disagree with that, and I respect that, but I do think that like, a healthy parent-child relationship, once you've grown up, is on equal footing, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm just overthinking things because I'm an idiot. We're going to move on. I know. She even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? I had to twist some arms to get some tickets for the Encore concert. Not only did you get them for free, the idol herself gave them to you. Do you have any idea how jealous I am right now? It'll be interesting. You're going to enjoy the hell out of it. Trust me. She doesn't look jealous. She looks happy. I respect you because you raised me, but we are both adults. Exactly. Exactly. Such a magical aura to them. Everyone says they have to be seen to be believed. You really like our music, huh? It makes me happy, what can I say? Hell, it even helped me when I was worried sick about, say, at the bank. Oh. Huh, I see. You know, we did threaten to steal Vesper's rice, so I understand why he doesn't trust fans. Chill, you, you want to come to the concert with us? Us? Oh. I'd love to, yeah. I don't want to be a burden. Of course. The more the merrier. John Day. Thank you for the super chat. Stella Stellar. Indeed. If 
You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. What about security and the like? Even from a distance? You'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. Hmm. Nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Yeah. Can you get me a classic drink? Sure. What's the most expensive one? Two hundo? Two hundo? Un, I don't believe you. Thank you for being a member for two months, but I don't believe you. A bleeding Jane. Let's go. Two of these. Six of these. Six of these. Oh, shh. That's it. Two of these. Six of these. Six of these. Blend. We blend like we've never blended before. Right foot messy. Thank you for being a member for one month. I watched your whole stream yesterday. Instead of stunning for a midterm, I aced that shit. So please do this again before my finals. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Congratulations, but laugh my ass off. Well played. John Day, thank you for being a member. Welcome, welcome. Here you go. Thank you. They've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. You earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you and everybody wins. Hmm. We had a young gardener that left to study engineering and he actually came back. That's actually true if you think about it. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats on the A's. He still comes by every weekend to tend the plants. That's crazy. Men's an engineer. I might take you up on that, Stella. I need money. Wait. Hmm? Something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. I think I might have grabbed the decoy. <laughs> it would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? They never patented anything. Sergeant Hawk, thank you for being a member for five months. This member milestone left intentional intentionally left blank. Sarge is T posting on me. T posing on me. I'm being T posed right now. Threatening aura. Still in one of those suits. We're using suits that were by all means illegal. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Twilski, thank you for being a member for four months. Creative Burst, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being a bachelor. Start thinking you could screw around with the rules. You're above every law there is. The city is what happens when people with money start making the rules. That's kind of a personal question. I think we've all done things that we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. Agreed. 
Screw the rules, I have green hair. Screw the rules, I have green hair. Gotta go, always a pleasure. Indeed, Stella, anytime. Alma, what's up? What's up? Thank you, Kaiba Corp. Love the reference. First, the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks. So before you know it, boom, total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I am not. Fine. Milky Oats. Thank you very much for being a member for five months. Much appreciated. I had a public message. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody gently rapping Wu Tang at your chamber door? A gentle Wu Tang. <laughs> Neo Skype. Welcome. Welcome to the Vesties. Thank you very much. Revan, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Much appreciated. <laughs> okay, all right, Jill. All right, dry up, dry up. I did the bit. Cash rules everything about me. Everything around me. Cream. Dollar dollar bill, yo. Cash rules everything around me. He <laughs> totally overdid it. Quote the bartender, I did not. Method man softly at my door. The Grand Cricket, thank you for being a master member for six months. I celebrate you, Vesper. Here's some more internet grandpire antics. We'll continue to dream of a cat from outer space. Watch along. I would love to. Scary, but might be worth risking. I mean, if it gets people to rent the movie, doesn't everybody win? I don't think that's on any servers. I think you have to rent it, right? I don't know. It might be better just to play it safe. But from my point of view, I'm going to rent it. I hope and I expect all the vesties that are watching with me to rent it. So like everybody wins, right? I don't know. So you like poetry? I had a phase. <laughs> Can I get you something? Let's start with the big cobalt velvet. Got it. The Raven. Indeed define. Undefined. Indeed. Full send. Rocks. Mixed. Let's get you drunk. Thank you. Something I've been wondering about for a while. Yes? Noob Master! Noob Master 69. No, the name doesn't ring a bell. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. Occult sign singularity. The 
Lectured on why the essay was wrong. Jill? Naruhodo? Naruhodo, Naruhodo. I understand. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that had all that stuff archived. Why? Why? It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? That would have been embarrassing. Pun Blake, thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. Who's that? Who's that rapping? Who's that rapping at my chamber door? It's Mr. 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 Raven. Up in my grill like nevermore. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> uh. It's just that remembering all that stuff is. Burr. I know, I know she's shivering. But I see that and I can only imagine. I just, John, thank you for upgrading to Bachelor. I just, I can't. I just imagine like a robot. I just can't. I just like the way, I like the way that you look. All dressed in black. So you have a pick. Oh God, you have a pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. She's like the first time that you see Mihawk. Do you remember the first time that you see Mihawk in, in One Piece? Like at the very beginning? Why did you wipe out our entire fleet? Why did you chase us back in the East Blue? And then Mihawk is like, I was bored. <laughs> He was literally like, I was bored. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> I was bored. Tsukiko Ichinose, are you also a base Mihawk enjoyer? Me as well, me as well. Assholeish but base. Last Friday, I had to make my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. <sighs> Simple stuff, just checking the past internet activity. Whew. I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. Oh, shit. What led you to the page? Oh, that's your fault, Jill. You idiot. You need to change your email. Jill, come on. Haunts me today. But it's my email. Shadow Mistress 69. Why the 69? 69, lot 69, like in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. Ah. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 69. I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I knew what it meant. 
You have no idea. I'll have a sugar rush. Got it. Full send. Get out of here. Here. This is the thing. What was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. Fine, fine. Introduced to my family. Mmm. Understand. Say less. We have to kill him. And me just saying, keep the fucker based. I give you the head pets. Incredibly based. The second one was during my freshman year. Thought it would be funny to punch me in the arm. Anyway. I'll get the crowbar. It's mail time. Met shortly after I dropped out. Interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? Four years. Got along pretty well. We had some awesome chemistry and I... Whoa! Okay. He just didn't like my family. He didn't. Distanced himself from his own voice that he didn't want kids. Changed his mind. No, 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 no. We have to respect people that, and they're, and that's like a life decision, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. You still get the head pat. Yeah. Had to break up. Understandable. Head pat. Bring me a beer. Full send. Eight of them. Mix. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. Wow! You really are embarrassed of that blog, aren't you, huh? Wow! <clears throat> sure, ask away. <laughs> Chill, I love you and I know you're singing in gist. Not cool, Jill. Not cool. They're real and they're spectacular. Now ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name is compensation then. I'll gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because I feel... Why did you get your hands chopped? Heh, <laughs> chopped. Typing helped me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. True. Interface with many devices. Tiny computer embedded in my glasses. Oh, cool. Pretty cool. Lisa, take care. Good night. Thank you for hanging out. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Don't you miss them? 
someone else has them. Ooh. Interesting. I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. Are we even now? Are we? You're pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobles. Again, I'm sorry, it sounded less rude in my head. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me, and I craved the strength and certainty of steel. Give me your hands. Don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Now you don't. You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and only one chance and you just used it up. Damn it. Ah, shit. It's you again. Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly, no. Paper of Runs is quite interesting. It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters could leave the body after death and then act as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. Unlike a hologram. Fell through because of such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Principal Flame, thank you very much for the super chat. She really said Doc's gonna catch these hands indeed. Ribs, thank you very much for the super chat. The first super chat, amazing, thank you. Academic luck charm in final seasons, is, am I? Hope so. Not like brainwaves are potent enough to create those reactions. You are now? Oh no. Oh, she's gone. Thank God. Woo! All done? What about you, Gil? You think? True. You're a fan of wrestling? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? You don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? <laughs> legal problems through good old wrestling. It's a show. It just so happens to use fights as an expression. It kind of is, yeah. It's not all fake. Huh. Didn't think about it that way. I won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. Based. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. Wait, what? Come here, fuckboy! What? Eighth grade what? Oh, we made it. Woo! We're not homeless.
Uh oh. Are we going to get swamped? This is this cute small downtown gang. Neon district. And the boss is such a class act. I even took a photo with her and sent a video to her little sister. Drinks were very tasty, even though they weren't made of real alcohol. Salvage agents, Samaraki. Neo Tokyo 3. Karakas. Karakas. Which country is that in? I had I had Arepas at a restaurant called Caracas in New York. It's an it's the name. Is it Venezuela? It tasted so good. It was like a flavor explosion in my mouth. It was so good. Amazing. That was a long time ago. Tanegashiba. The dev is a Venezuelan team. Oh, interesting. Interesting. My mom makes fire arepas. It's my favorite food. It was so good. The texture, the flavor, like everything about it was like 10 out of 10. You're not late, you're just on time. I don't even think I'm close to the game yet. Close to beating the game yet. Heavyweight champion. Glitch City's most popular pro wrestling federation. Giant Yusuke. Justin Liger. Interesting. Head injury. Epic 30 minute bout. German suplex. I won't risk until I beat him clean. Love it. That reminds me of the arc in major. The arc in major. What was his name? Joe Johnson. Where he's like, he refuses to retire because he needs to have a duel with the son of the guy that he accidentally killed with the dead ball pitch. And he's like, I refuse to retire because I'm waiting for someone to come and like defeat me. That was like, hit me right in the feels. Ah, oh, that arc was so good. Major is really good. Anyway. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about because nobody's watched Major. <laughs> Numerous reports of identity theft. It's still known what kind of laws we'll have. Ha, huh, interesting. Joe Gibson! Joe Gibson, that was his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I call him Joe Johnson. Joe J Joe Gibson, yeah. And then there's a Joe Gibson Jr., right? <laughs> the fastball only pitcher was a Giga Chad, I agree. <laughs> okay. Nothing on D. Okay. We save. Go to work. Talk Daya and we'll talk. Okay. Sush. Sushi. I'm not going to call you Sush. I'll call you Sushi. In Daya. What's your what's your favorite team in Daya? I've already I've already mentioned my favorite team, Yakushi, like but I like all the teams really. Is it Inashiro? Inashiro is pretty cool too. They're pretty cool. What do you think of like the douchebag coach on the main team? Sado has like a douchebag coach, right? With the little goatee. He kind of grew on me. I kinda like him. Even though he started off as like a douchebag. Kida, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for playing one of my favorite visual novels. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I love him. I love him too. I don't know why though. 
He started off like really like slimy, but I just like him for some reason. And I don't know why. I can't really identify why. He grew on me too? Yeah. What was my favorite Daya arc? I can't talk about it without spoiling stuff. Never mind. Alright, we're not gonna talk about it. The the Yips arc. I think I could say that without giving anything away. The Yips arc was my favorite arc in Daya. It was so good. Do you perhaps relate to him in some way? Kinda. The Yips arc was really good. Are you humming sunshine sp shine spark? Ah, hey Jill. Are you okay? You in love? Nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Favorite Eye Shield 21 character. Ooh, that's a good one. Let me think about that. Favorite Eye Shield character. I mean... <sighs> I like Kurita. I like Kurita. Because, you know... Because of his background, he was supposed to be on a different team, right? That arc was great. It, it was like the perfect way to set up, like... The conflict and hating that like other group, right? Yeah, cuz he's like the backbone of the team, right? He's so important. He's just gigantic He's big and friend shaped, right? It made me hate that other team. It really did and I very rarely Genuinely dislike the villains because for me my favorite part of most fiction or media is the villains. I love villains. They're just really interesting to me, but I like just full on hated the villains in that arc. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting dangerously close to spoiler territory, so I'm gonna shut up, but yeah. Hiruma is like everybody's favorite. He's just too cool, right? What about, uh, what was his name? Like the, the gunman quarterback? What the fuck was his name? You know, you know the quarterback that's like a cowboy gunman? And he does like the quick, quick draw pass. That guy was super cool. Kid! That kid might have been my favorite. Yeah. I love kid. I just, I just like anything with like cowboys in it. I don't know much about like the actual era of like true cowboys. I like the aesthetic. I like the, I uh, like the lone gunman like idea, right? So kid to me was just like very much like, yeah. Big iron intensifies, I agree. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> That's a stereotype, Jill. That's a stereotype. <laughs> it's not. Oh my god. Well, never. Oh, fuck, it's you again. Shit. Gil, I'm out, I'm gonna... Last time, my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out. So I'm here to find out what made people so interested. <sighs> I like you. With one line, I like you. that the passed out girl from two weeks ago I'm not here 
completely gets rid of the jukebox music. Oh, sorry. I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Assy Zero. Oh, I like you guys. Uh... You are too happy and you're too mopey. What happened? I was right. Huh? That Laura girl was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. That girl? I'm not here. Sorry. Passed out. Betty was right and that deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. Mix. Full send. So that girl was actually infatuated with him. You should have seen her screaming at the top of her lungs. Was she holding a... Was she holding a boombox over her head? Him just standing there thinking. Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tad too cliched for my taste. Brrrr. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was right! He doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike your coworker. Holy shit! That he <laughs> How? Let me enjoy myself. Can I get something non-alcoholic? It's not how you draw on your sorrows, you piece of scrap. I love a bloom light. Got it. Full send. Aged. On the rocks. Mixed. Full send. Something non-alcoholic. <sighs> What's the most expensive non-alcoholic drink? Vessies, I'm asking you to help me. This is not backseating. Just give me the most expensive non-alcoholic drink. Mulan tea. That's my... Dirty secret, Leo Siegfried. I always need cash. The Bleeding Jane. Fiji water. Fiji water. Let's give him a Fiji water. Blended. There you go. Same. I'm freaking out here. I have no idea what to do. Well, for starters, what do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela. This is, um... This is the, uh... This is a song, right? Mambo number five. Mambo number five. I know this. I recognize this.
Or should I say... Didn't share the bed sheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo waster, chocolate addict. Too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, teetotaler, choose with the mouth open. What do you think, Jill? That you must be quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in this short period of time. I mean, about the piece of scrap situation. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Gil? He's still on cloud fucking nine. Wasting shampoo should be a capital offense. Damn. What about? I'll be damned. She actually hides pretty well. How do you feel about her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Get to know her. Maybe you'll change yours. But I'm just realized I'm giving love advice to a Lilim. What the hell does that mean, Jill? Oh, I don't know how well it applies to you. True. True. These things are humans in all but organs in nowadays anyways. Even if that's the case, it's interesting that she felt... Well, the fact that, like, they, there's, like, a cloud thing and they don't die, that is, like, a significant... Yeah. The fact that, like... You, you're immortal. It makes it like complicated when you're dealing with like being in a relationship with someone that is not immortal, right? It does make it there. That's like a distinction that you have to think about. It's like dating an Asari. Everybody would date an Asari, myself included, but that's just so basic. It's so basic. Troll Captain America. I want you to join me on the Rachni side. Don't you want to don't you want to seduce a Rachni queen? Hmm? Hmm? Think about it. You think about it. Oh god, no. No, please stop. Perhaps Jello. Jello. Frost Warden, my man. Not again? Okay. Why wouldn't she? This fella's a good catch if I do say so myself. Aw, you're nice, Betty. He is nice. He's a good boy. Humans and all but organs. You've surely encountered a Lilim that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, we live in weird times with hay that only makes them more interesting. Integration of Lilim, though. Glitch City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilim, so... These two should basically, basically should date. You think so, Pasacon? You think? Hmm. There are people that disagree with me, and I don't think that they're wrong. I respect their opinion, and in a way, I think they might be right and I might be wrong. But I do think people can be... People can be friends and, you know? She, people could be friends and not into that, right? I don't even think they're soulmates. I think they're just good friends, right? I think people can be like really, like they could be best friends and like have none of that there, right? But I respect people that like don't agree. That's fine. You'll find out how you feel afterwards. Falcus, thank you very much for the super chat. You're also in defeat. Rack and I have four of them. Maybe more? Maybe more, Valkus? I would urge you to imagine. 
Maybe more! Imagine! I wanna- I wanna have, like, matches. Actual matches. On my table, so I could do the bit with the sound effect. Where, like, he's, like, striking a match and lighting a pipe. Imagine! Anyway. Yeah, I think I'll try that. Anything else? Let's commemorate the equation with a piano man and a piano woman. Got it. Just get like a soundboard. But Syndic! There's something about the actual like physical... The, the way that it changes and it's like not the exact same noise every time. It's subtle, but I think it means something, right? I don't know. I'm a big fan of like VTubers that do like sound bits, right? If your bit is sound related, I think it's like good and it adds something to it. It reminds the viewers that like you are a physical person and you are like interacting with the world, right? I don't know. Don't set your apartment on fire. I promise nothing. <laughs> I won't. I promise I won't. On the rocks. Mix it. Shaka shaka. Fiverr. Fiverr. Two. Three. Three. Oh, shit. Fiverr. Fiverr. Two. Three. Three. Age. Mix. Oh yeah. Ah yes, I have physics and I can prove it by smacking myself. Sergeant Hawk, this one's for you, buddy. There you go. You hear that? I don't know if you heard that. Maybe the noise suppressor like hit it. Here. Now we reach a stalemate. For free, we heard it. Good. Normally, I take the piano man, but I feel like there's symbolic value in taking. Ah. Why order like that then? Oh shit! Are you getting drunk? I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine. MINE! Betty, you don't own me. For the life of me, leave you alone. You aren't kicking people. I love how selfish you can be, Betty. I wish I was more like you. <sighs> when you have a good friend that is a good person, that is responsibly Coomer, right? And they find someone good for them and you're happy for them, but you're also fucking sad. I wish I could be, I just. Ah. <sighs> We should leave now. We're holding a small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you want to... Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. A good friend is so rare, right? And then you're you're afraid when they find someone cool and then they're gonna get married and stuff like that and you're just afraid you're just like ah oh, man i finally found a good one and it like the crushing truth is they're gonna have less time to do friend stuff right 
there's no way around that. It's like it's not like oh nothing's nothing's gonna change. Everything's gonna be the same. It's not, right? It's not, frankly. And it it's sad, but like you know, you have to be happy for them. You have to be happy for them. Ah oh, shit. I totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such bliss. Still, I can see how traffic spike. Things get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Take a... Take, give her the plum and a hat. Die. Drink this and die. This is not what I wanted. Good. Perish. Perish. LOL. Sip or talk, not both. And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Okay. You get your own copy of my theme song. No, thank you. Don't be shy. Let me give you one. No, thank you. <sighs> How in the ever-loving fuck did you do it? Magic. That's bullshit. I believe it. That is bullshit streaming Chan, but I believe it. Video editing magic. Yeah, whatever. They weren't their dogs. Where are the dogs? They haven't come. Newspaper managers, talking dogs, this is the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising? Maybe boss just donated money to the Sierra thing. Anything interesting lately? <sighs> Hello? Sorry, what did you say? Any news stories? This is not a newspaper. Kill her. Kill her and we're even. Shut up. But I said nothing. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. Amazing. Kiramiki, you're shitting me. You expect me to believe that she came all the way over here again? Do you even have proof like the glass? I mean, her blog, right? Her blog. Moon. You've been listening, boss? The walls are pretty thin. 
Oh. I even took a pic with her. She did what? Let's see. Why? Why, why, why? I try to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you sit here and she just comes waltzing over? It's not fair. Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets. I was just as baffled as you are right now. Maybe that's why. Very graceful, much like last time. Really nice girl. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? No, absolutely not. In fact, no, I wouldn't do it. I'm gonna burn the number that you give me. Not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I'm not gonna tell you shit, idiot. I really doubt she'll ever come back. Exactly. And if she did, I would never tell you. Not the bees. Give me something girly. What's the most expensive girly drink? Blue Fairy, Full Send, Moon Blast. 180. Let's get her shwasted. Just give her a gut punch. On the rocks, blended. Here you go. It's still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Eh? Maybe this bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. She's just like me, for real, for real. She thinks everybody that's even slightly nice to her is hitting on her. She's just like me, for real, for real. I'm not. In fact, I'm trying to get you to leave. Ah, oh, another, another King of the Hill aficionado. Boah, Joe hates me. It's not, it's just not having this conversation again. Boring. You want to know who it was? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not not taking any chances. Oh, come on. You're making lots of faces there. Takes. Aside from that guy, I mean, uh say you're oddly calm today getting more sleep lately good i still hate you but i do think i would wish good sleep upon even my worst enemy sleep more idiot that way i don't feel like i if i stop speaking i'll die <laughs> crash is one hell of a drug I can actually make a premium time if I go... <sighs> Give 
getting bored, do something. I'm not gonna make your content for you. Make your own content, idiot. You're a professional, aren't you? Mind if I entertain you a bit then? Suplexes, idiot! Dude, the crowd would go wild if you suplexed. I'm, I'm sure an appreciable amount of our audience would fucking love it if you suplexed her. Give her a German suplex. Boss? I'll entertain Missy here. Oh, baby. All right. Take Gil with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of... The, right into a truck's grill. He's gonna get isekai'd. <laughs> Grilled Gil. All right, Gil. Eh? <clears throat> Save. Save. Bath time? What are you talking about? Want one? No thanks, I don't smoke. You got a text from Alma? <laughs> well, that's a bummer. She's sending congratulations your way though. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. So it was a girl. I don't feel comfortable talking about that. You don't make things easy for me though. How so? Hmm. You are a weird loner. Harsh, but true. Is this workplace sexual harassment? Technically, he outranks her, right? He, he, he came here first, so he's like the senpai, right? No? Gil is me for real, for real. I did. Good for you. Bullying senpai? Kind of, but he's not official. If you got suplex, I'm pretty sure the vestige the scream, oh no, and then start a hospital fund. That might be true. Thank you for being a member for six months, Arnolfo. Thank you so much. Pretty sure you can still sexually harass your boss. That's true. I never thought of it that way. I guess in my idea, in my mind, it's just more unusual because you just get immediately fired, right? I don't know. Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Can't stop humming or listening to it. Ah, okay. That's why their nicknames are so similar. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. No, why would that be a problem, though? Cause, no reason. We have information that we can't give to people, but no reason. I mean it. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. Wonder if Alma finds Gil attractive. Who doesn't? Ready. What were you two doing back there? Ugh. Oh, so just chatting then. A good old fashioned Zatsudan. Holy crap, did you do <laughs> How? 
What do you have today? I got punch. Coming right up. But. Full send. Get in there. Aged. Mixed. Here. Stop looking at me like that. I have a lot of pizza. I bought two medium pizzas from Pizza Hut. Because I wanted to relive my childhood. My childhood was Pizza Hut. So I got two medium pizzas and I have a lot of it left over. I'm getting there. I can eat, but I'm not hungry yet. Oh, they're super cold. What kind of pizza? I got pepperoni and mushroom, sausage, and jalapeno. Yes, Transient, you can have a slice. You may have one slice. When I get hungry, I'll eat it. I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know that Lilin tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Interesting. It's the pizza hut. It's the pizza chain of my childhood. So even if I can go to like a mom and pop place, that's like objectively better. Pizza Hut reminds me of being a kid again, right? Which is why I like it. Is it any good? Sushi is not that good. But, but, Pizza Hut doesn't taste like any other pizza in the world. It's like, there's something about it that's like different. There's like a chemical in it that like makes it only Pizza Hut tastes like Pizza Hut, which in of itself is a merit, right? Yeah. It's good. It's Karmatrine. They put Karmatrine in it. Exactly. I can see that. Yeah, right? Okay. Okay, Evil Samurai. Little Caesar's Pizza. I wouldn't call it good pizza, but if you look up the founder of Little Caesars, you can't read his Wikipedia article and not respect him. You just read, I think his name is like Mike Illich or something. That guy is like an actual G. <laughs> Mike Illich is like an actual G. He's like the only billionaire I would kiss on the mouth. Full send. <laughs> the owner, the founder of Little Seasons is actually like a great guy. Actually a great guy. He's dead. He's long dead. He's dead. Yeah. But sometimes you just want garbage. And that's exactly Principal Flame. Yeah. Mike Illich is a great person. Like a good human being. Anyway. He gets it. What what is this super chat? That's my pizza. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Ergonomic backwards mouse. Thank you for being a member for six months. One thing I remember about Pizza Hut is the Crash Bandicoot commercial. I think I remember that as well. Yeah. I would not kiss his corpse. I would not. Alright, we're going back in. I would 100% do a collaboration with Little Caesars. I would. I would 100% do a collaboration with Little Caesars. You can take that to the bank. But I do, I do urge you guys to read the Wikipedia article about him. Just legitimately great guy. <laughs> Just like you guys. Check my personal specs and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2. Okay. I feel them harder. Huh. Why all that exposition?
Vesper doing the pizza, pizza. <laughs> he loves us. Started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. Oh, that's kind of cool. How humans work. What you said. And after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. I don't know. Looking up all of that suddenly made me feel real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Glad to hear that. Yeah. All right, then. Let's try something sweet now. Aged. Mixed. There you go. I, Matt, I am so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> I love Costco combo pizza, but they don't serve it anymore. It's just, I mean, it's still good. The pepperoni pizza is still like banger, but they don't sell Costco combo pizza anymore. It's so sad. Yeah. I still love it. I still love the pep and even the cheese is good, but they don't. Yeah. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. Okay. I read the philanthropy section of Mike Illich and yeah, he's done a lot of good for people. It's not just that the philanthropy is good, but you can genuinely tell that he loves his hometown, his home city and his home state and like he just spent his entire life trying to like help it out right i think he probably could have like made even more money if he ditched his hometown but he didn't he stayed there his entire life and he focused on like making his like his roots were very important to him and i love that somebody that like is loyal to where they come from it just makes me like happy right yeah i don't know i don't know I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would and you're even expressing happiness. Did you hear Axel's take on five guys? I didn't. Did he actually go? What was his take? Tell me. I actually tried to strike conversations with AIs. But after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over again. Huh. Oh, he didn't like it? Interesting. Interesting. Too greasy? He doesn't like the grease? Too much grease? Overrated? It's a disgusting greasy burger. But for me, it is the most burger burger ever made. And I love it. I, I understand. It's like, it's like leaking through the bag, right? Oh, it's the burgerest burger ever. It's like if... If five, if like burgers could be like turned to like, what is it called when you take like an inanimate object and you turn it into a human? Whatever that is, if you could do that to burgers, five guys would be like a chain smoking alcoholic person. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. It would just be like a wreck of a human being, and I love it. Me for real? Yeah. I respect it. Macca's is like, good. Anyway. 
When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you are right now is amazing. I don't know. Makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. Helps when I feel particularly cynical. Ah. I love Five Guys. It's the most burger burger ever burgered. But I understand, like, if people... Because a lot of people, grease makes them sick, right? A lot of people, like, it gives them indigestion, right? Then of course you would hate Five Guys. Of course! And you would be right to hate it. If, if you ate something that made you feel sick, why would you ever eat that again? You would hate it, right? But for me... But for me and mine, it is the most burger burger ever burgered. And it's so good. I love it. It's just insanely expensive. You go there and you're spending like $23 for like a fucking burger combo. No, 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 no. KFC is baby tier compared to Five Guys. Five Guys burgers, you rub it on a wall. You rub it on a wall and it'll make the wall transparent. And a bird will try to fly into it and break its neck. That's how greasy a Five Guys burger is. If you rub a Five Guys burger on the wall, it'll make the wall transparent. Okay. If Lilin managed to create biological life years from now, it will have come full circle. So what should I take from this is... You love... Ah, <laughs> she's so cute! He's so cute. <laughs> Let's go with the sugar rush. Got it. Full said. Oh, yeah. All mixed. I've never had five guys, but now I'm tempted to get one. Tiffany, if it's not for you, I respect it. That means you're a healthy person and there's your body has like a grease tolerance limit and it exceeds that limit and you're like, this is disgusting. And I respect the hell out of you for it. That means you love yourself and you love your body. But if you're one of my people, you'll be like, mmm, delicious. <laughs> Important question, regular fries or Cajun? Cajun. I love the Cajun fries. I... Ooh, Shake Shack is better. The Shake Shack bur... The Shake Shack bun? The Shake Shack bun is really good. I will admit that. I think Shake Shack has the best bread. The Shake Shack, like, bread is really good. I did. I've have. I have had Fuddruckers. Yeah, I've had. I've had it before. After eating a Five Guys burger, you can feel your heart beating slower. Exactly. Okay, you guys are trying to distract me, so I do that stupid, cringy voice tweet. I'm gonna move forward. How romantic. Yep. Guardian. Call her mom. Nobody's judging you. Mom decided to meet with the mother of her daughter's girlfriend. Okay. They both said they felt like they closed the long chapter. Why was I moved? I never met any of them, so why do I share these feelings come from? Why do I feel things? Do I really feel them? Tells me someone isn't pressing a button to make me feel that. <laughs> Shake Shack burgers are like 20 bucks for a little guy of a burger. That's the way that it is, right? Buttruckers is a name I haven't heard in... I love... I love the bit in Idiocracy. My favorite bit in all of Idiocracy, other than Welcome to Costco, I Love You. That's my number one. My number two bit in Idiocracy is where 
Fuddruckers like slowly turns into another related name. That's like, wow, interesting. Oh, fuck, it's streaming chin. Like talking a bit too much of a prick. Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried. Jill, I'll be in my office. Cam girl! Oh, fiddlesticks. What's your name? I'm Dorothy Hayes at your service. Are you hitting on me? Hey Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want us to participate? Oh, what is this? Arnolfo Mendez, thank you for the super chat. I try food that's not bad, just weird. Example, waffle, whopper flavored ruffles. It's weird having the flavor condiments and all this single potato chip. Hmm. Weird, but not bad. Remember the strong chips that I had? Strong! That was weird. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, a sugar rush over here. Bartender, sorry, what? Sugar rush, please. All right. I think it's like two, one, and then full sun of the karma train. Did it? Like four, two, full send, and then you just mix that bad boy, I think. Yeah. Good choice. Yay. What do you know, my turf? Streaming Chan. Yes. No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Man, that's a tacky name. Based. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name then? Nicole Chen. Ha! Huh. Humble. Why not call yourself Streaming Chen? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chen, though, so I just went along with it. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, I get it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. <laughs> I forgot that reference. Oh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. You just need a cracker shell. Shut up. Quiet you. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see? The contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. Unreadable? Ew. Ew.
Oh my god. What? Oh, I mess up? Where did I mess up? Oh, other way. Other way. Got it. Tiffany, welcome to the Associates. Thank you very much. We're gonna beat this game today. I feel it. There you go. Cheers. So what do you do, Dorothy? Am I not good enough for you? Getting serious? No, sorry. Fooling around, maybe. There you go. More than enough. Huh. You need to be varied. You need to keep it fresh. Huh. Call him. It's busy. Oh, well. Premium content. That girl ain't right. Tell you what. Go ahead. Eventually the demand, okay. Yep. Nice. Is there any other streamer you feel might dethrone you? <laughs> MMA Junkie 2020, 2040 is seriously becoming a threat by the day. Got this dog to train with them, and suddenly everyone got interested in MMA. Interesting. Lucia Cipher, thank you very much for the super chat. Between Dorothy and Streamer Chan, which of the two do you want to collab with? If I like literally had to choose between these two, Demonetized regardless, true. It's like an actual so it's a reverse Sophie's choice, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? It's a reverse Sophie's choice. I don't know which one I want le less. Great Wargle, thank you very much for the super chat. The most chaotic duo. Okay, can I let's talk let's talk a little bit about like my thought process, right? 
It's not a bit. Like, I legitimately feel uncomfortable with, like, Coomer shit. I, I don't like it. I, I think it's funny. I think it's funny, but, like, I don't like it. <laughs> right? She does it for clicks, but she's, like, less Coomer. She does it for clicks, but she's... This one is, like, she just likes it. Right? But... She is just the worst person I've ever met, personality-wise. And she is, like, uh, has an amazing personality. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 personality, 0 out of 10. Less Coomer, more Coomer. So it's really difficult. Probably her, Dorothy, even though it's just, like... You got this dog to train with him suddenly, yeah. I wish him all the best, but he's crazy if he thinks he'll take away my spot. Oh yeah, that guy. He was better. Not only that, inspiring, okay. Make sure you pay your dues. Well, it's been fun, Dorothy, but I gotta go. Mind if I stick with you for a bit? Oh, by all means. Let's continue the escapade then. Sure. <sighs> Should I remind Dorothy that those ears of hers are signal jammers? Oh no! The bitrate! The bitrate has plummeted. Nah. We're done, boss. Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Keep it up. Tomorrow's the big day, so get ready. It goes for both of you. Not granted. I effed up. All your wishes come true in a new bountiful year filled with health and joy. Happy New Year. I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise, or thanks. Oh, We save. Okay. Go to work. <sighs> well, let's see. Gil is in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. The only, the only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Are you alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any moment. Relax, everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Drink something, maybe that'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, keep your chin up. A hug? A big one. Gotta go. You can do it. You can do it! Water boy. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years, and now time to face it head on. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Hello, Gabby. Welcome to... Hey. Talk first. read it all right then it's 
a nipple pierced coach that no one can understand. Jason Beanland. Oh, so good. In one of my D&D campaigns, I added a little vial of water around a chain that's always cold, but they didn't... The group that I was DMing for didn't get the reference. They were a bunch of freaking Zoomers, and they didn't get the reference. It made me a little sad. They just drank the water, and it didn't do anything. Well, it, it did, like, buff them a little bit, like, as per the, as per the movie, but... Still cold. Simple. Just what? Yep. Maybe on. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Just that. Yep. This is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I remembered all the times my sister provoked you that way. She gave you chocolates labeled one, two, and four. That would like send me in. Sneakily opened it and took a sip. I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere. She did, huh? Localized nano re machine rejection. In her heart. The case is more focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day, but organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections, not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. She suffered from that since she was 18, but she kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know. I was too angry to learn that she hid it. Was she ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? Ah! couldn't find out what made her so vulnerable. Shots made her other defenses grow weaker. Maybe it's blood pressure. They don't know. So nobody knows. Hmm. She wouldn't have faced it alone instead of dying in her sleep. But I do think if you have to go, going in your sleep is the best way. Going in your sleep knowing that you're not going to wake up is terrifying. But if you go to sleep with the full faith that you're going to wake up and you just never wake up, I don't know. That's how I want to go. Thinking that I'm, there's going to be a tomorrow, going to sleep and then never waking up is like decent. Decent. Thinking about what is won't bring her back. Too real when you have a family member that passed that way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's never a good thing, but I do think... I don't know this character. She passed before, like, the game even started, but... It was peaceful, at least. 
Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. I'm like, weird. I think weird. I don't know. Hammering yourself, what is this you told me? Yeah. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that moment? What if I'd apologized earlier? What if I'd gotten a chance to... What if I'd given a chance to the research institute back then? I get it. Just not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a very... It's deep and terrifying, that topic. And people don't like to think about it. But... Today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends. Yeah. I can't apologize to her like I can't apologize. Yeah. Let's celebrate her life and achievements. Let's mourn her together. In honor, we'll do it together. Try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. Bod Nalud, thank you very much for being a member for six months. I look away for several hours and you're still going. Good luck, good on you, Gramps. Here's the six months. It's a good game. It's really easy to get like lost in this game, I think. It's good. Did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? No. You sit on a throne of lies! That was actually goes way back before you left. Acid reflux or something. I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then. Part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. Fair. That's why it's my favorite game. So glad that you're finishing it. Tactile Cacti. Even if I didn't finish it on stream, the story is too good. I have to finish it, even if it's off stream. I don't know if I'm going to stream the DLC content, the prologue, the, the other stuff, but I'm going to, I need to absorb like everything about this game. I have to. Don't think too much about it. Not shout it out of you. Yeah, shouting is never good. Let's just call all that water under the bridge, shall we? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do multiple endings. I think I'm just going to play it through for one stream. Yeah. Of course I am. How did you find me? Have you heard of a message board called... <laughs> Danger U? I have, yeah. I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Are you mad? No, not mad. More like dumbfounded. What the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Hmm. Streamer Chen dogs you. <laughs> After I graduated college. Anima, thank you for being a member for five months. Who danger you here? I don't know. Hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. After graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf on, in no time. She kept saying that it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Hmm. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. Thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I don't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. 
I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was par partially because she was so pushy. She had the best attention she could be abrasive from time to time. My say on the matter. It's important. I agree, Jill. I agree. I agree. That's where you stop. No, 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 no. Which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand. Getting used to it. Did I ever tell you the story of the guy that I met when I was like bike touring? The guy, his like wife passed away and then he became a photographer. I think I did. He's like a, he's like a, yeah, old photographer guy. Not shady, not the creepy one. That was an early story. I'm not sure how much I told you about them. I want to keep like their private life different, but so I was bike touring and I met a, a guy that was trying to be a professional photographer and he's a very old man. I think, I don't know how old he was, but he looked like he was like 70 or like 70s, 80s, retired, worked his entire life. His wife and love of his life was a coworker they met on the job. But he never really liked the job that he did. I'm not going to tell you what they did. Maybe I did before. I don't know. Um, but then, like, she got sick and passed away. And then before she passed away, she was like, hey, you should you should do the thing that you wanted to do your whole life, which is to become a professional photographer. And then so they had kids together. They had an entire life. He worked an entire career that, like, he didn't give a crap about. And then, like, after she passed away, like, he gave, like, he just... He's a traveling photographer. Yeah. He told me most of like what he did. And it was like an inspiring story where he's just like, um, I think I told you this before. His goal was to get in National Geographic. He wanted to be a photographer for National Geographic. He wasn't there yet, but he had done. He's in like magazines. Like he's he has credits to like pretty decently sized magazines. And he's like, my goal before I pass is to get into National Geographic. And so I think, like, he didn't start becoming a professional photographer until, like, he was, like, past his 60s, right? So I do think, like, it's never too late. It's, like, a bullshit cliche statement, but, like, I think I'm kind of proof of that. And then if I'm proof of that, this guy is certainly proof of it. Because he had, like, a 50-year like career, right? Not 50. He had, like, a 40-year career, right? And then, like... He, he retired, he got the retirement benefits, and then he became like a professional photographer. In my opinion, he's a professional photographer because if he's, if magazines are paying him for like his work, then he's a professional. And then his end goal is to get into the magazine, right? Like National Geographic. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. But this, this worry, I think Jill's like concerns about like wasting, you know, turn out 40 i'm working a job i hate that's valid too i'm not diminishing like that concern and definitely if you can if you're in a place where you can change cool but if you can't that's also cool right i don't know regroup myself think carefully about what to do next there's nothing wrong with that yeah that's what led to you two fighting the word fight makes it sound like we exchanged blows or something. Tragically silly. People making choices for you hurts too. Yeah, for us. Hate that. Getting all defensive about not wanting to make that off take that offer. Wasting this huge opportunity. Maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. 
would have been avoided if I just kept a cool head and talked that out, you know? My sister said something like that. Eh? How sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself on. Yeah. Something like that. We are quite hotheads. You, me, my sis. You were supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly, even though you were a little child. <laughs> Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us too? No, it's just that... You broke a window? And you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? KL Indigo, thank you very much for becoming a member. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Chat completely immersed in not chatting. It's so good. Seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same perspective. No matter what reason I came with, it'll never make sense. <laughs> Berating myself over those past mistakes didn't, won't bring her back. She's the one I could always talk to. Quiet. She was an amazing person. Hmm? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. <laughs> Don't worry, trust me. Sweet and non-alcoholic. Maybe a sugar rush with no carmatrine? A toast. Actually sparkle. Vesper, I'm watching you! Out. 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 So it's these three. <sighs> Maybe a sparkle star? What do you think? A blue fairy? It could be a blue fairy. Yeah, why not? Grab this for a second. As <laughs> I like, give a drink to your little sister. H. Yui, thank you for the super chat. The one time we're not going full karma. This is for Lenore. Let's be classy for once in our lives. Exactly. Exactly. Never got around to it. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Good stuff. That's 
a bit. been more mature than I have. Truth. Truth. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Apple soda. I put bubble gum on all the soles of her shoes in retaliation. Did you know that you got my drink that time, huh? Oh. Well. Oh, shit. Oh no, it's just... Oh no! Oh no, she's coming back! Ew! I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Clary's. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. Of course. How could she cover me otherwise? True. I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clary doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Lambda Delta, thank you for being a member for six whole months. Thank you for your support, it means a lot. Goodness gracious, cucumbers! Yeah. Emotional damage. Great. Second branch, nice! Huh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Twelve years old. Still in the fridge. Sweet victory. Hey, Bakajin. Thank you very much for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. It's been a hell of a ride, huh? Onward to one year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Till I get killed by the Belmonts. I don't know. Your mother and Lenore never, met, never made up, did they? Yeah. Mom was always obsessed with high society and circle friends. Yeah, pretty much.
two years ago. Oh, okay. You won't. You'll only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. Plants don't fly. Thank you for being a member for six months. You're still freaking live. I'm in the wrong time zone. Uncle Brewski's now going to sleep. Nighty night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Thousand, thank you for being a master member for six months. Much appreciated. You <laughs> with the cucumbers. Ah, so bright. Oh, we're done. such a good game <sighs> wait for the post credits yes sir I won't I'll, I'll go through it. I do think I personally, whenever I complete a game, I want to see the credits in its entirety if I can. I do think everybody that was like in the process of making the game deserves to be like shouted out. I don't know. Right? I don't know. I got to play the game. I got to play the game, so I do think like they should just get it's just tiny, right? But their name, just having the names out there is just good, right? <sighs> what a great game. Lucas De Silva, thank you very much for being a member for six months. Thanks for the six months looking at the Steam library. Solasta, Zomboid, FTL, you've been an awesome influence. Thank you for playing the games that I love. Also, your, <laughs> your profile picture is a staff of Jordan, is it not? Mmm, mmm, so good and so tasty. You could enchant that bad boy with the spell power. Take it all the way up to 60 and beyond. Jello, thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. Missed him anymore. Tic Tac Flag Attack, thank you for being a member for five months. Thank you very much. Favorite game? You have incredible taste. What can I say? Pal Panda, thank you for being a master member for six months. What's your Valhalla drink of choice? The Vesper. 20 Karmatrine. Aged, on the rocks, blended. Full send. The Vesper. Quinn Rock, thank you for being a member for six months. Much appreciated. If the game is great, I stay for the credits. Exactly, right? Sal, thank you for being a master for a month. Thank you very much. This is my Kami game, my best game ever. So fun, funny, emotional, and heartwarming. Dylan Holmes, thank you for being a member for five months. Jam, I lost the game! Thank you for being a member for six months. No, we lost the game. You're right, good night, Jill. I thank you for being a member for six months. The Great Wargle, thank you for the super chat. How much I love this game. Thank you for experiencing with me for the first time. I had a bunch of people at my back cheering me along as I was playing it, and it felt good. We'll play some more tomorrow. I'm reading it. Uh, 
Thanks for keeping me distracted. No problem, Miguel Dominguez. Thank you for the super chat. I'm reading it. Rick Raptor, thank you for the super chat. Good experience in this game brought back eight memories. Loved it as much as I did. Indeed. Do we have post credits? How do I read? <laughs> Friday, February 3rd. This is good. Really good. You have no idea how long I've wanted some curry. I remember I meant to eat some, but then I had to pay for some drinks that I spilled on the floor. That screwed up my budget. It's the least I can do after being such an obnoxious client. Nicholas Storiker, thank you very much for being a member for four months. This is a great game. I hope the next one will also be this good. I think I've got Journey next on the queue. Mind if I ask something, Mr. Timothy Mercury? So you know. Two very grateful girls soon became regulars. Both of them were related to you. So what was your question, bartender? Call me Jill. Two questions, actually. Why did they brand you as a traitor? Because you killed the other guy? I don't know. Sounds weird considering the other guy assaulted two little girls. It was a cover-up. The guy was my superior. A high-ranking officer like him assaulting innocent civilians? That would be unthinkable. On paper, at least. On record, I hurt the girls and killed him before another unit subdued me and I escaped from their custody. In reality? That's all I needed to know. Sorry for bringing that up. Didn't you have another question? How did you build this restaurant so fast? It's a small city! Turns out two very grateful girls tracked me down to thank me. One of them was rich and the other noticed that I smelled like curry. They didn't deserve what that bastard did to them. Excuse me? Oh, speaking of the angel. Timmy! Two special curries, please. I'm sorry. I know it's like very emotional and heart touching. You can't. You can't put Timmy in front of me and not have me do that. You just can't. I'm not mature enough not to do that. Oh, hi, Jill. Oh, hi, Jill. <laughs> Friday, January the 20th. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm actually here. The concert will begin any second now. Wow, I've never seen her so openly excited before. Don't talk too loudly or startle her. <laughs> true that you served her at a bar? Yep. It's not important anymore. What's important is that Stella will get me a job after I heal. Good. nice dude if she becomes a superhero oh shit what <laughs> I can't believe you actually made me the sleepover thing. You didn't have to accept, you know? Shut up. I'm having a good time. Aw, oh, that's cute. 
Yeah, whatever. You remind me a bit of my sister. I do? How? Oh. You always manage to get a reaction out of Jill. Sis always says that Jill acknowledging your presence is the best way to know that she likes you. Ha! Huh. You're talking too much, Gabby. It's different with you, though. Jill was more frustrated. You're talking too much, little girl. Shirt sure that what? <laughs> what are you doing with my hair? No, you just remind me of her a little bit. Share. You're talking too much, Alma. January 5th? What? I once saw a guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having been... I wonder if it's the same guy. Neo Tijuana! What happens in Neo Tijuana stays in Neo Tijuana. Shut up. Wait, what? Huh. Undefined, thank you very much for the super chat. This art style heavily reminds me of Monogatari. A little bit. Yeah. I can see it. She was? Eh? She kept up her studies while still in the hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. Disease that only 2% of humans suffer and even less survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. She was great. And to think I'm sort of like her sister. Silly Becky. Hmm? I did not. What the fuck? Come again? The ball sack guy. Sunday, August 27th. I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to the city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. Gil, we're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. <clears throat> and you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. 
The time you spend setting up a useless farewell could be used asking me for things about the place. Like where the switches and valves are. They're in that control panel that you made. But I like talking about the control panel. I'm proud of it. She'll take care of your four ball just fine. I'm worried about me. I don't know what I'll do. Ah, she's a crazy cat lady. Just like me for real, for real. Are you up for the last? Yeah. We're leaving. <clears throat> oh yeah, before I forget. I left. You what? You what? Emo who? Yeah, whatever. Panama! Heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen or bar will let you start over from the day one while keeping your items and money. Thank you for playing. Oh. Good game. Woo! Amazing. Oh, I'm going to take another shower. I'm going to eat some pizza. I should... I got all the endings? I don't know what that means. Look at the title screen, though. Yes, sir! Non-powerful decreases at an alarming rate. This can be overwhelming. Some people devote themselves to their jobs, families, even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place. Others just give up. For many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find Hall A... Yeah. So we just call it Valhalla. Small oasis in the fountain of the concrete desert, fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. Beauty. Okay, what's the opening screen now? This is where the story unfolds. Hey! Gabby! 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 Click the plus? Who is this? Ah! Prologue! Anna. Got it. I got time! Anna's the epilogue? I got time. Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. What about Gil? Business as usual. Not quite. Not so. I mean us, not Gil. Business will be a tad different through the weekend. We got booked. Who made the booking? They make toys for dogs? Okay. The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Cool! Well then. Ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Lord Pumple Rump. 
I love a grizzly temple. Hello? A dog. A talking dog. Are you with the Safe Bar Tour Company? Yeah, did I arrive too early? No. Son of a... Coming right up. We're professionals. We full send all day, every day. Shaka, 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 shaka. It's open bar, but we are professionals and we full send all day, every day. Unless this streamer Chen, we give her the bare minimum. This is going to be a long weekend. Ariel Wienerton. Hey, is the Brunson extract here produced using organic roots? I don't know that information. Anyone I could talk to about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. Every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. But we don't. He's not gonna change reality. Give me something with lots of Brunson extract then. Okay. I think it has to be bitter, right? Bronson extract is bitter. Five. Three. Four. Three. All right. The gut punch. Full send. Full send. Get this idiot doggo shwasted. Got punch. What the hell is this? Your order. This is what Bronson extract tastes like? Sort of, yeah. Well, fuck that noise. It's not worth the effort. No, it's not. Hello. Thank God a person. Well, as much of a person as a de designated driver could be. Why are there so many dogs? Hmm. Well, I do prefer corgis, but... Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. I see. Well, to each their own. You can drink anything? Let's see what I can fetch you. Never mind. Let's make him a bleeding Jane, full send. Shaka, 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 shaka. Jane is alcoholic? What? What? There's no karma treat in it though. Oh, thank God. Ephemeral memory. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Pretty sure. Okay. 
Listen, I need to know, is it really only going to be corgis today? Pembroke Welsh corgis. There's a couple cardigans. Difficult, so the cardigans weren't invited. What? There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh. Is it a problem somehow? You survived worse than this. Serving drinks to a bunch of talking dogs. That was me when I had to do a voice tweet as punishment, where I was like doing my Al Capone voice. That wasn't a bit. That was like actually like, what the fuck? I just did that whenever I had a really shitty day at work. And I would just do voices at work to keep my sanity up. Like, what the fuck? No, I love the job. It's an amazing job. Let's go! She's literally me for real, for real. It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. <laughs> well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. <clears throat> Great. Thanks for the information. Call if you need another drink. Sure. I'll get everyone around. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a fringe weaver. Coming right up. A fringy boy. One, two. Full send on the karma train. I think it's just mixed. Aged did mixed. Got it. There we go. It's a free bar. No money on big drinks. It's true. The only thing that's making me do the full send is my professional pride, right? Still an awesome day. Excuse me? Beer and quickly. Ah, too much. Here you are. Unless that little piece of shit is done for the night, I'm just going to be like, ooh, ooh, what? I missed you over. What? I serve people who, at, before you, after you, what? All right, you're coming up next, I swear. I just got to help this guy over here. What's the opposite of deja vu again? The dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you bored? The darts a bit ago. I'm challenged. You're the first person in the year or so that I've been here that's actually played the darts. We've had worse. Gnaw chairs to pieces. Yes, she was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that.
Now you worry about that. But no, there aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink these chemicals. What the heck is a cappuccino monkey? Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. No. 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 Ah, all classy drinks are alcoholic. Something manly? Hmm, maybe not a god punch. Ah, the suplex? No, no, no. Let's give him a crevice spike. Blended. Shaka 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 shaka. What? She's literally me for real, for real. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk to their colors, right? How do they work? They're just translators. It won't work like they do now. Oh, interesting. Why do they wear those tuxedos? It's good for PR. Why the fuck do these dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do it and they think it might be fun. Just like teens. What can I serve you? Moon is... Is Streamer Chan's biggest fan? Is Streamer Chan's biggest fan? Excuse me? Moon! A moon blast? Alright then. Full send. On the rocks, blended. Demi, Demi, Isis. Thank you very much for the, being a member for six months. Shaka, 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 shaka. Full send, baby. Moon. Was that a good moon or a bad moon? Pesky fur ball. Yeah. Crevice spike, please. Ah, a crevice spike, please. Sure. You understand me? Yeah. I was a kid too. This dog wants a crevice spike. Good. A chance to test this. Does it only work if it's like... All blended. Chaka 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 
Ah. The full send, the double only works if you have the alcohol in there. Wale. Truth is Little Caesar's pizza. Here. Thank you. Thanks. I'm feeling dizzy. Maybe you're just drunk off the mood of the place. Yeah, that might be it. You want anything else? Oh, sure. Why not? What do you want? Give me anything. Of course. Anything. Alcoholic. 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 Yeah, all promo drinks are alcoholic. Yeah. Sugar Rush. Oops. Mixed. Here you are. Give him a hat. No, 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 no. Sorry if it's rude to ask. I guess I am what people call an office boy. An OB? My duties usually involve looking for things, including answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. Silent Eric, thank you very much for being a member for six months. What? That D&D character concept you gave me a few months ago worked out great. The wizard that wants to be a dragon, the campaign is still going. Awesome! Amazing. I like, I like stuff like that. It's good. Isn't that just you, Vesper? I DK. Getting stuff off the shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. I see. How did you end up in that position? When did you get that offer? My neighbor is the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed thumbs. They're celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago. Toy development. Oh no, STD! Dorothy, hello. Why are you quiet? This isn't a... Wait, you're a Lilim, not at your service then. Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kind of. Three months. For shame, honey. For shame. Nothing a free drink won't solve. Won't do. Huh? Yeah, I only found out myself just a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. A discount? You don't need to know. The Safar Toy Company. What do they do? Oh, she hates dogs. Uh-oh. She hates doggos. Oh, lovely. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't choke like that. You think I'd kid about something like that? Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. You look troubled. Oh, that's how she got the ticket. That's how she got the ticket. Keep 
Keep it up, bartender. Good luck. You too. Good night. You all have kennels that you need to return to. All done? Yeah. Huh. That's right. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. Vesper streams are too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? No. Cheer up. No. That attitude won't make things easier for yourself. You got darts? Yeah. Set of darts? Sure. We're ready. <sighs> Just enjoying the stream? Yeah. Can I have a big beer? Thank God a human. Sure, coming right up. Here you go. Beatrice, but everybody calls me Betty. Why do you need to know that? You'd also be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm their veterinarian. They're all your clients? Yeah, company issued vet. I mean, I have my own office, but it's in their building. Oh, cram it. Puns right now. Any else I might need? Enhancement, but that's harder to shove into the conversation in the first place. Okay. They're un... They go against the very idea of human evolution. Huh. Too easy on paper? Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. Skill doesn't ship with enhancements, at least not yet. I have my story with enhancements. Huh. Way more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs. Sorry. I'm fine for now. Call me if you need anything. Hey, have you seen a red dot? I've seen many things in my life, but a red dot, not today, no. You have any red drinks? Right. Maybe a Mars Blast? Wait, no, 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 it leaves your face red. Okay. Let's see what it, color it is when I'm done with it. This is a big one already. Blend it. Shaka 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 Uh oh. Sergeant Hawk, thank you for the super chat. Gotta bounce. Friends are inviting me out for drinks. I'll catch the rest later. Thanks for streaming. No problem. Take care, Sergeant Hawk. Yo, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Uh, hmm. I messed up somewhere for sure. Six, one, four, two. Shaka 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 shaka. That's not yellow. Uh, that's not red. Hmm.
Shaka, 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 shaka. That looks pretty red. Okay, punk, hear me out. You're gonna tell me where that red dot went or I'll drink you. Excuse me? Here you go, sir. Bartender, please stop dozing off. I need booze. Sorry, what can I get you? A Zen star. Sure. I know what goes into a Zen star. Four of everything, but I don't know how to... What I do at the end. Just mixed on the rocks. Mixed. Here. Something on your something on your mind? Willing to lend an ear? Absolutely. So you mentioned the thing about talking dogs, I thought. Never mind the fact that we could always understand their body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just furry, adorable little office workers. I've yet to meet a furry office worker with half the charisma of these little guys. This prologue used to be the demo, written in another engine, but they ported it over to the full game in an update after the release. It means the characters here are the earliest finished characters. Interesting. Did they mention Gil? Did they mention Gil taking a day off? So he was in there, he just wasn't in there? Yep, it was originally made in Red Beat. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Don't you dare. Ahem. I guess. What do you mean? Any other day? They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. They got a place. The Cardigans were the ones that hired it. Some stupid argument arose. The Cardinals didn't want to have any Pembrokes at their party. I swear to God, these dogs are like annoying little suburban kids. B5014, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you. I'm pretty much done with the stream. I'm doing the prologue, though. I don't know if I'm going to do Anna, whatever that was, on stream. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to get hungry, so I want to eat. Sorry, guys. I'm going to end the stream after the prologue. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have dogs to, yeah. Do your job, don't mind me. <laughs> Eat curry and pretend it's made by Virgilio. I got leftover pizza. I got cold pizza. 
I got cold pizza. Tortilla Pope? Hey, buddy! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Uh, you? I am? Oh! Thanks, buddy! Ooh, a sunshine cloud. Coming right up. Okay. Full send. On the rocks. Blended. Shaka 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 There you go. Loopy doopy poo. Woof. You know what I hate, man? What do you hate? Cabbages, man. They're like lettuces that decide to go to the gym. I meant to drink. Grizzly Temple? Got it. Blended. Shaka 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 Oh shit, I only added one. Here you go, chill out for a bit, doggo. Thanks, man. That's for being a barista in a bar, something I can see him doing. Okay. Lefty, thank you for being a master member for six months. Good evening, good evening. Remember to stretch and hydrate. I'm almost done. I'm gonna do the prologue and I'm... I'm, gonna, I'm done. No more. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna shower. I need to do the questions, give them to Flake, because we're doing an interview tomorrow. I feel really bad because this is like super last minute, but I had to finish this game. I can't not finish it. Do you have anything sweet? Are you hitting on me? Let me see what I can get you. And make it big. Oh my god. Jill, stop. Stop it, Jill. Let's get her a blue fairy. Aged. Mixed. Here. Thanks. What's the weirdest client that you've ever gotten? Pick the first one that comes to mind. He came in wearing a Velociraptor mask and wouldn't stop screaming. He left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh, yeah, that's weird. At least he left a nice tip. And honestly, I'm really bored. Supposedly hooked them up. This is one of those stories. Uh-oh. Oh, shit.
No, but I remember news about a police catching somebody who was performing. Oh. Guess I gotta check out the dogs, see if they're fine. All the time. Oh. I kind of regret I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll do the entire prologue. I honestly thought I was going to go eat and it's like this is somebody was like, oh, it's not that long. I feel like I've done like an extra hour. I kind of regret doing the prologue. Kind of regret it. I got one guide. They were like, it's not that long. Don't worry about it, Vest. It's like an hour in and it's like, hmm. The prologue night, I got one guide. On the rocks. Mixed. Bad touch. Casey, absolutely not. No. Oh, my back is just in agony. And I have to do the... Questions. Dog five. One Brantini, please. Sure. I need a Brantini. Two Carmatrine. Aged. Mixed. Get a good office chair? Maybe. I got five guide. Excuse me, the beer mat's dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Nah, leave it like that. It already ruined the Brantini anyways. Your job has a funny name. You don't say. I could just eat you up. Please don't. kicked in. I'm not drunk. Right. I am so hungry right now. I'm gonna die. Why did I agree to this? Let's leave it at that. A normal one. Got it. Three... One aged mix. There we go. Here. It's smaller than I thought. <laughs> I have work to do today. Uh, love animals. Huggable. That's why I became a veterinarian. It's not always easy. Squishy animals, okay. I kinda ate two meals while watching your streams today. Yeah, I might stop guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm hungry and, and it's it's not really progressing the, the story, right? <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go let's go redirect to someone real quick. It was a long stream, yeah. I have I have to get Flay those questions tonight. I have to get them tonight and as fast as I can. I have to get him the questions, so that's my priority more than like anything else. Haka! Haka, my boy! Let's go. Let's go visit Haka. Okay. Alright, everybody. Take care. Thank you for watching me. I finished the stream. I did it. I did it. I'm happy. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.